Okay, we're going to go ahead and get this meeting started. Uh, we're going to start with the players of the flag that moved it. <laughs> I know, you have to find it. Prayer with Commissioner Patton, please. I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our gracious Lord and our Father in heaven, we come before thy throne in a humble manner. Ask your blessings upon us tonight as we enter into this meeting. Bless us with wisdom, and bless us with patience and compassion that we do the best for the whole city of Beaver Dam and for the, the equitable to all people. Bless us in our decisions, not just tonight, but in every day, and keep us from the evil one. In Christ's name, amen. amen. Good job. Very good job. <laughs> Welcome everybody out tonight, and uh, first item on the agenda we're going to start off with is the approval of minutes. Make a motion. We approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. <coughs> Next item is the bills. Make a motion to pay the bills. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Okay, we're going to move one item up on the agenda just because we have a guest here from out of town. I don't want to try to keep him tied up too long uh, with the Kentucky Utilities Franchise Agreement. So I'll turn the floor over to you. So basically, uh, just to run down what the franchise agreement is, um, on, on, the, uh, on each of the citizen seals, there's a franchise fee. There's a 3% uh, franchise fee. Uh, this has been, the last agreement was 20 years ago that was put into place. Uh, most cities use that revenue uh, for to pay, to pay their street lights uh, or uh, just different things of that nature. Uh, like I said, the, the last agreement was uh, put into place 20 years ago and it is a 20 year agreement. And uh, this will be the start of renewing that agreement. Uh, which expires um, the middle about August or September of this year. Um, of course, it is a uh, three or four month process to get to get the um, to get to get the, the process completed. So that's why I'm here to, uh, to get this going. So uh, basically, the um, what you guys would 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 decide by next meeting um, is to what the length of length of terms for the new agreement would be. Um, you can do a 10 year agreement. You can do a 20, most do a 20 year agreement, um, but you can do a 10 year agreement, 20 year agreement, but that does, again, everything's up to you guys and what you decide. And you would decide the, um, <clears throat> the percentage. Uh, each one of you have a calc revenue calculator in front of you. Uh, you can see where the current um, revenue three percent what it has netted from September of 21 to August of 22 which is one hundred twelve thousand six seventy four thirty two uh, the all the way to the last column the the proposed amount percentage going forward is two point zero five percent which keeps that revenue at about one hundred and eight thousand which is just about the same as it is now. Um, you can lower the percentage to 2%, which is what uh, this column here shows you, what your revenue would be. You can keep the percentage the same at 3%, which would actually raise your revenue just a little bit to 160,000. Uh, or you can raise it to 4%, which would have it at 212,000. You know, that, but again, it's all what the city needs, uh, what you guys want to do with that and the, what the what the percentage you know what percentage you guys decide to, to go with that's what we'll do so um, basically if we can just get the uh, the ordinance read the first reading tonight and by the second month by next month we'll do a, a, another reading uh, and if we can get the, the length of terms decided then and the percentage decided then and we'll move forward from there Okay, so you have two ordinances you need us to pass? No, it's just one ordinance. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. I said franchise agreement was as ordinance. But do we have to put the amount percentage wise we're going to have on it? Gotcha. Okay. Not, not, not tonight. tonight. You okay. can do that by next meeting. Yeah. Gives you, you know, you guys. Okay. I see what I'm doing. Yeah. And you guys just let me know that we'll we'll fill in all the paperwork. And we'll we'll get all this completed for you. And you just tell me what we're doing, and I'll get it taken care of. Okay. So we just need to make a motion make to accept the first franchise agreement yeah. of the ordinance. I'll make that motion. Second. second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Appreciate it very much. All right. We'll be in Good touch. Thank you. Shelby, you got. Yeah. Info and yeah. contact and all that good fun stuff. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. No problem. I wish they were all this easy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next item is the proposed ordinance zero one zero nine two three on the water bills. We all have information. It's not the one we passed too early, is it? No, no that's a waste. Uh, no, this no. is the, okay. that's a solid waste. Oh, did I skip one? No, that's next. Mm -hmm. That's next. Okay. You guys do. This one? Mm -hmm. Get that. Get that. It should down toward the bottom. Oh, is it? No. Jeez. Should have another one in there. Got way too much stuff in my packet this time. It's got the handwritten number at the top. I was looking for it. I still have it. Thank you. I've got one. I don't have one in mind. I'll listen to my back. I think. Doing good, sir. Does everyone have a chance to look over it? What this is doing is in regards to the losses the city has incurred for water bills that have not been paid by renters. Once they leave, uh, you know, we've talked several different at length over several different things to take care of this issue. Uh, and my suggestion or recommendation will be this going to be a several pronged approach uh, so that the burden does not fall on any one group organization, but shared by all. And in doing so, my recommendation is to, uh, number one, raise our deposits an amount to be decided on for the renter's burden, responsibility. Number two, would be to uh, do like a lot of the cities in the state of Kentucky has done in the past and most and even statewide is to make landlords responsible for unpaid water bills. The balance above. Though. The balance above. And, and let me clarify, that's usually going, that's going to be one month and part of another one. And that goes to my next uh, recommendation be that uh, when we do read the meters, I know right now they contact the individual meter holder to let them know if there's an unusually uh, large water usage on their part. That would need to also be shared with the landowner just to make them aware that there's an issue gone up. Uh, a, a next point would be to change our cutoff date. Right now, bills are due in the 10th of the month. We have always done a 14-day grace period, at which time, if they were not paid by the 24th, the water service would be turned off. So it's not like months and months and months of water bills are racking up. It'll never be no more than a month and then a, a couple of weeks. But I would propose that we change that on rental property that the 10th day of the month is the payday, the 11th day of the month they're cut off. 
At that time, contact the property owner and let them know of the cutoff and the amount of the bill. And then see where it falls. Of course, we'll try to do everything we can to collect from the individual who holds the meter, whose name the meter's under. Uh, we also have some other things that I hope to get some information together before tonight, but I was not able to get it all done. I know we're working with the county and the other three cities within the county to talk about a preparing a database where if someone leaves Beaver Dam without a paid an unpaid water bill, if they go to the county to try to get on, county calls us. Do you have an outstanding? Or we'll check the database, and any outstanding in any of the cities will have to be uh, repaid before the other one would turn their service on. I talked with uh, Eric Hickman today with the county water district. He's having to check with his legal counsel. I know the cities have talked about this before, and I think the cities can do it. Other cities do. But the county water district is a little different because it's under public service commission. So he's having to do some checking to see if the county can do that. So that's still kind of up in the air. Uh, does not mean that we won't continue to try to recover these bills. And if any uh, revenues, back revenues, are ever recovered by the city, the landowner, landlord would be reimbursed for any amount they had paid to the city in that regard of a water bill. That's my recommendation of AV. It'll be your job to fit all this into the ordinance form. But Well, we, we talked about that earlier yeah. today. It's pretty consistent with what we talked about before. Uh, if you, uh, if the deposit is increased as far as what the city requires, if the deposit is increased from the standpoint of what the landowner requires, and if you cut back uh, on how much time it is after they become delinquent to you, it's 24 or 48 hours, you're basically eliminating, if I understand, about 12 days of use of water. Is mm -hmm. that right? Yes. Uh, I, I'm assuming, Larry, that that's doable. It is. It's more extensive work on our behalf as well, but yeah, it's doable. Okay. They get their bills on the first, right? Well, yeah, when they're supposed to be there. Sometimes a little earlier. Is that giving them enough time? I know it's nine days, even if they got it on the first, they still have nine days to get in. Is that enough time to give them to get it paid? Are they all we mailed out on the same date? Yes. I get mine before the first. If we done shut offs earlier in the month, I could do billing earlier in the month. I usually get mine about the 27th or 8th. Yeah. Okay. And second thing is, we also talked about once about doing something where if the water was shut off after so many days that the house could not be lived in anymore because it did not have water. Are we going to address that? Well, that's another one that I can't say if we can do that right now. Uh, what Kevin's talking about and what we have been looking at, even under a separate ordinance from this, is part of our property maintenance uh, codes and stuff. If water is shut off, because we have some issues here in town where there's uh, some houses that have not had water for a year, but people are still living there. Uh, we're probably going to uh, address that to see if we cannot put in place if water shut off after five or ten days it has to be vacated it's a health issue and a safety issue if that happens which is something else that will help you guys but uh, that's something I can't answer that question until we get more legal I know we advice on that one I get one group that says you can do it and they are doing it and then I have another group that says they don't know if you can or not I will say that we're averaging about six thousand dollars a year, five or six thousand dollars a year in loss due to this. Uh, and it's just, like I say, over the last five years, you're, it's five years, thirty-six thousand dollars. We're going to have to do something. How much would we have to raise the deposit to to make it even out? Well, in other words, like, what would the deposit be to cover that? To cover all of it? Yeah. Mm. Because you had thirty, you had six thousand dollars a year on how many? How many was there, Shelby? Well, last year there was forty-one. It, but it was like four, forty-eight, forty-eight hundred, wasn't it? Forty-seven hundred or something for the last year. Five dollars, five thousand. Was it five thousand? Over the five years, you've had two hundred fifty-five people behind, and we we'll figure out at about a hundred and forty-four dollars and some odd cents per. Would person. cover it. For, to recover for a household. You had 255 households that were behind uh, at $36,897, I think it is, 
it figures out at about 144 and a half or 144 60 so if you uh, to come up with that extra amount that has not been paid now that's above the that's above your hundred and fifty dollar deposit right so you're you're talking another hundred and fifty which would jump that deposit up to right at three hundred right at three hundred so that, that wouldn't let you cover it all because you have some bills that's been left over four hundred dollars three fifty two so if you even if you jump it you're not going to cover recover everything and that's for one month service. Well, the way it is, it could be a month, month and a half. <laughs> Some of those could even be even a little longer. <clears throat> the other side of that, though, is if we start implementing the cutback period that you're talking about, it makes it yes. a lot less. Right. And uh, well, the, the idea is you have to get you have to get input on both sides. Right. The, the, the neutral on this is the city. Okay, right. The city city losing the money doesn't make any sense at all the question is whether whether or not you're going to raise the deposit from the city standpoint and you're going to raise the deposit from the landowner standpoint in order to the two two funds plus reducing the amount of the water bill to effectively eliminate basically eliminate the problem mm -hmm. now the one thing about the ordinance that nobody's discussing this is not this is a prospective ordinance it's not a retroactive ordinance so, so, so agreements that have been entered into before the ordinance is passed are not part and parcel of this discussion. Right. So, so uh, the only the only ones that are going to apply are agreements that reach between landowners and tenants now or since since the time it was passed. Those that were reached before are, are not subject to the discussion. And if, by example, somebody entered into a, a agreement five years <coughs> ago, they paid the water, the water bill's been paid, but all of a sudden it's not paid, this ordinance doesn't apply. And, and it's only going to apply prospectively from the time the ordinance is passed, which is consistent with the ordinances that have been passed statewide, mm -hmm. really. I want to make sure I understood what you said. So, say the ordinance was dated today, and John Doe rents property from Jane Doe tomorrow. So they would be covered. But, that, that, but that, if that, Jane that, Doe be covered under the, under the, the ordinance, ordinance, if Jane Doe had rented a month ago, they would not be under this ordinance. No, because there's no way. I want to make sure. I, I thought that that's what you said, but I want to make sure in, that's in what I understood. In fairness to all concerned, exactly. You can't apply a law that was not in existence to a contract that was entered a month ago or 10 years ago. Right. That's, okay. I, I understood. I was just making sure that... It can't be retroactive. It, no. Well, I guess you could take the position it could be retroactive, but it's, not. it's clearly not fair. Yeah, that's yeah. Right. So, I agree. in other words, the 6,000... So that's that's, 6, that's 000, done. That's, yeah, that's... It's gone. Everything, everything before today is gone. You're trying to alleviate an issue it in the future. Is basically what you're doing. So if he, if one of one of the property owners rented one tomorrow, we pass this today, they would be liable. Yes. That's what you're saying. Yes. If implemented, they'd be responsible. But if we raise the, implemented also the tax. The, the deposit, deposit, deposit fee, increase. It would be that would that would cover it too. Tomorrow maybe. also. Wouldn't that take an ordinance to increase that? Hmm. Wouldn't that take an amendment to the ordinance? I mean, is it all in this ordinance right here? Okay. If you cut it off by the tenth, do we, how many of them would be over the one fifty or one forty four, whatever it was? How, how many of them, Larry would be over the what that? That's that's a loaded question because you don't know the usage, you don't know what's going on in the household, you don't know if that leak. I mean, there's too many. That varies, that varies each month. Would you have a guesstimation, Shelby? No, there's no way you'd have a guess. What would happen is that we'd have to go out and read the meters again on the 11th yeah. gotcha. to get a final closeout. When, when they shut off every month, they bring me a card back with readings on. <laughs> so I have that reading to, if I need to, turn it off in the computer. So. so you'll have that reading to know how much has been accrued since the last... And we normally read meters on the 15th. So you would have that much time. Almost a full month. And I believe all the folks that are on this list 
they were cut off at the like month and two weeks mark. Well, Is that right? Well, they will be. Some of them haven't cut off yet because they're still in this period. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. <clears throat> The whole thing is to try to penalize the ones that are just actually doing right the date, now. Right now. doing the date, not to penalize the landowner or anyone else. It's just the ones that are doing the date. But it's going to take all of us. It will take us all working together to do it. Do you think it's going to cause problems for the rent for the people that are doing renting if we jack up the fee to three hundred? Well, this is something we were all going to share in the burden, Kevin. Yeah, I know. And I agree with that. Well, I'm just saying, do you think it's going to make a... Well, we can make the deposit a 1000 and we would never have to worry about it again. That's true, but I don't want to do that either. Well, I know. Yeah. That's why we're trying to... It make it reasonable and it, uh, attainable. Yeah. We, I mean, that, that was just a, that was just an op, that was just figures to answer a question that you right. asked. That doesn't say that we have to go with that amount. Right. I mean, that's a, which, you know, I, we've got to make it to where that, that everybody is working together and kind of, kind of curve some of this. And we have a lot of landlords whose name's not on this list. Mm -hmm. It's true. It's I wasn't any the folks that contacted me, none of them are here. And as looking at this list, it really is just two or three folks that are still within this period. Mm -hmm. Is that not correct? Like this one, the last. Does this show if it has been shut off or not? All these would have been this. This is okay. I thought you said some weren't because they were. It was still in this period. Well, I mean, this this isn't inc inclusive <laughs> because there's some that will be on there because we don't know. Gotcha. All right. Paul, can we uh, take some comments on this? Yeah, we're going to just just All give right, me a sec. <laughs> We're trying to get our heads around it, so maybe we can answer right. questions. Any other comments or questions from you? And I noticed the list today as I was looking it over, not, not any particular landlord is having a, a major issue with this. It's not any particular, mm -hmm. particular group. And there's a lot of folks mm -hmm. that aren't having any issue whatsoever with it as far as people walking off and leaving the, the water bill. Now they may be turning the house up, but uh, that's another different, different perspective. I think if I'm just quick looking over, five is about the most anyone has. And some of those range as low as three dollars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, not all of them are four and five hundred or whatever. And, when it's a leak situation, a lot of times when people contact us and tell us it's a leak, yeah, we, we try our best to work with, with everybody on that situation. Because, you know, we just had this big major craze that we had everybody. And a lot of people wound up with leaks and big water bills that they would have normally not had. And we've tried to work with folks that, that let us know about things. <laughs> Anything else? Okay, Mr. Brown. So we'll start with you. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I'm thinking you guys ought to do is go ahead and raise it to about 250. Then, if they haven't paid the last month for about 10, go ahead and hold it to the, about the 30 for the month and it'll come off. If they're not going to pay this first bill, you give them that month and a half that you give them. At two hundred and fifty dollars uh, deposit, if you cut them off, you've still got more money from them than what uh, what they cost you for water. Well, not necessarily. Yeah. Well, I've got the apartments over there, and my bill is running about fifty dollars a month for each apartment. Mm -hmm. So, 
you're, you're 200 miles ahead of me already. But that's fine. Mm -hmm. Right. Just to raise the deposit, you kind of keep an eye on that. Well, we're, and we're going to raise the deposit yeah. some too. We're just trying, like I said, we're trying to put the, share the burden with everybody because it's a problem we've got. But as a landowner, we're just trying to make a profit. And if I have to go in and pay the water bill on this one or that one, then I'm going to have to raise the rent. If I have to raise the rent, then it just gets to be a catch 22 type deal. So. We, we understand because we're in the yeah. same, All right. same boat. Yes, ma'am. What do you do with the deposit that you get now? They go into a specialized account and they stay in that account. And then if someone closes out their water bill uh -huh. and everything's paid up, we give them their $150 deposit back. That, so yeah. Yeah. Okay. But if there's any outstanding bill, the outstanding bill is collected before they get anything on the deposit. The problem we're having is the deposit's not covering some outstanding bills. Do y'all get grace periods? We do. Somebody pays part of it? We so do, if right. They, so if they got half of their bill, their bill's $200, and they call you and say, I got $100, and you give them a grace period of two weeks, a month, whatever you give, we do that. now they got two months of bill and they don't pay it then it's going to go back on the landowner well if we follow what my recommendation was the cutoff will be automatically at the 11th and there will be no more grace periods okay so if they called on the 10th and said i got a hundred dollars and can i pay half of it and then in two weeks i'll pay the other half y'all would cut them off anyways if the city does that we would not expect the landowner to reimburse if the city gave them extra time i'm not going to do that i we wouldn't do that to you that's not the intent uh, and we have had some that call in, especially if it's some that we've had uh, a history with that will call in and say, hey, I just can't do it all. I've got half right now on half, half in two weeks for you. I'm not saying we won't give them that two weeks. But if we don't receive it from them, we're not going to come back on the landowner for that. That's something we chose to do, the city chose to do. Well, you've got your bunch that always is on the bad hand. But you always got this some that, you know, they're down on their luck a little bit, the pipes broke, like you say. And you don't want to treat people terrible, but they gotta communicate but, to us they but, have this problem. Sometimes they don't tell us and we're the last one to know. Well, yeah. so they need to let us know if they're really that pro have a problem and we'll work with them. Right. Well that's that's the way we do with our renters. <clears throat> when one of them says, Well, I've lost my job or whatever. I can only give you this this much so this month. I I got it at the end of the month, I'll get another job. I'll work with you. Yeah, I got no problem with that. So that's that's the way to do it, yes. Treat them right. Yeah. But if they do if somebody does do that partial payment thing like this guy was talking about, we as landowners need to know that. Yes. Yeah. I agree. And how do you regulate that? Would the city let the landowner know that so-and-so called in and wanted to make a partial payment? And we, if we accept it, it's on us. But shouldn't they require, uh, ask them, we should ask the renter, you need to tell your landlord what you've done with us. Well, and we can, we, we can let the landlord know too. That's yeah. not a problem because it's the landlord is as much part of this as the renter is. Yeah, but we need to encourage them to communicate with them yeah. too. So we would make them aware how they would not know. be. I don't know. That's what I was wondering. I don't know. I don't think we can be discussing their payment schedule with. That's yeah. a privacy, not privacy policy. <clears throat> yeah. We can let them know if there's been a partial payment made. You can let them know that that there's money owed. Yeah. You can let the landowner, with the ordinance, you can let the landowner know there's money owed. Keith? Uh, I'm going to clarify something that ABC said. This would only apply to people that get, that do water service starting tomorrow, right? right? Yes. Right. If somebody's been renting from you for 10 years and they default on the water bill, this don't be That would not go in on you at all. Well, that's very good because that gives us a chance to maybe institute something to protect ourselves in that manner. Yeah. Well, that's I want to brag on you all a little bit. <laughs> really? Out, just putting it all on the landlord, and yeah. now we're developing into something that. No, it was it mind. was never put out to put it all on the landlord. Yeah, so a little bit of communication yeah, with no one asking the right questions. Well, that was first reading. That's why we had a second reading. But the whole point has been to try to share, like I say, share the burden. Uh, 
I did have some phone calls and people ask me that question when I tell them. They say it wasn't quite the way they were told, but. The, when people have called me and, and I'm the one that over the water and sewer as far as this, this, this board. <coughs> when people call me, what I've told them is that one of the things that we put this ordinance out the way that we did is because we need input on both sides not just us but we need your input the only way to get people in one of these meetings keith and you was here long enough to know is dig in their pocket hard enough until they'll come and scream them and uh, it, you know this is a problem that some some landowners aren't even aware of and this is what this is about, is to bring you guys in and other people in so that we could have an intelligent conversation. And I, I do appreciate, and I want to say that I appreciate every call I've had, including yours. <laughs> and I've had right up until five minutes before this meeting tonight, and I have thanked everybody because we need your input. We need your input. We don't want to do anything that's going to hurt any business owner in this town and you are a business owner and we don't want to hurt the city because after all our rental property is in it yeah but you know it's so always it, easy to put it all on one person taxes. that's right mm -hmm. yeah. i'm sorry i said we all pay city taxes on our property so let me clarify this so you're you're saying that you're going to up the deposit mm -hmm. all right I, I mean, I disagree with him, but not a whole lot. I say go 300. But the other thing I say is, I like your idea about if they ain't paid by the tent, cut their ass off. <laughs> so my next question is, you said if you cut them off and there's no water there, then they can't live there, right? That's what. That's well, one of the other things we want to talk about. So state, is that going to help us evict their ass? Yeah, because they're, they're going to. Is that state order? By ordinance. But, well, because of ordinance, they will not be allowed to stay there. All of us. All of us is different because it's not. Exactly. That's all I want to know. Our ordinance is different because it's not civil. Yeah, you better. So you can send the police over. Well, again, we're, we're trying to find that out. I think they get. I think the one we originally talked about, it was 15 days. They had 15 days from the time they got cut off. I'm thinking more five. Is it five? I thought it was 15. Yeah. Well, they got to pay the deposit again. Yes. No, they'll just. Squat on you, and then you can't get rid of it. They, they have, have, have changed laws. Change 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 change. Yeah, but the Indian ain't got no rights. Yeah. Well, that's well, what well we're if they have to be evicted, they, 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 they will not be allowed back on there. We'll make sure. I the evicted one, and I think I've got somebody snooped back in there already. Yeah. And I think probably we need to clarify that is not in. Yeah, that's not in the That's not in the ordinance that we're discussing. If a tenant defaults on a bill and the landlord does have to pay it, and we get this agreement with everybody else, then does that count as a paid bill to go to Hartford and No. It keeps them no. from going to Hartford and doing the same thing to them that they did to no. us. No. Keith's asking, will it show as paid? Oh. Joel. Joel. Oh, I know who you are. No. So it will, <laughs> it will, it will, people look familiar. We're getting older. It will not show as paid, Keith. It'll still, they'll still be on the database of uh, bad debt in the city of Beaverdam or wherever. They'll still show up. They'll still show, they'll still show up. The yes. So they'll have to pay somebody before they can get water. Bill. Hopefully so the, the landlord, landlord will pay them back. back to the landlord. Yes, that's why I say we would reimburse the landowner, the landlord. So in other words, what you're saying is that you're going to keep their names that they defaulted on your water bill, and right. then you're going to share it with the city of Harvard. That's what the plan is. That's what the plan is. Okay. The, the cities can do it. I, we don't know about the county. It's kind of like KU. I mean, you... you Default on a KU electric bill, you try to get KU again somewhere else, it don't matter where yeah. that thing, you're not going to pay your previous bill. On, on this side, that's the thing same thing we're looking at. Okay. That's, I mean, but one thing I, on this thing I mean, of eviction, I, 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 we, we all need to make money. I understand. All right, right. Yeah. Well, on also, this you thing probably. Of eviction, you still have some le legal, there's some legal signs of that that have to be looked out yeah. as far as. Uh, that goes there there is a legal side to that that you and that's what i wanted to clarify that's not in this that's yeah. not we, in we're, this we're, that we're still talking about yes. you know? but most of y'all and i'm not saying all y'all some of y'all have <coughs> real property in beaver dam and some and also hartford well wouldn't it be nice if hartford said you can't hook up because you still owe beaver dam that'd be nice the problem we all have with that and i'm not sure i know they tried to clear that that if john doe 
got evicted. Well, the girlfriend decided she'd go. There again. And it's the same group yeah. of people. So. Yep. That happens. I don't know if that happens a lot. That yeah. had water on and it's got a lease. Yeah, we require a lease to turn the water on, and the, the water will only go on in the name of the person on the lease. But they, what they do is, John Doe has a girlfriend, she'll go to well, the lease putting her name. Mm -hmm. yeah. I had so John Doe has not paid it, but he's still got water. Yeah, but there, that, there's nothing we can do about it. That's where the landlord needs to stick to it. Put all names on the lease. That's yeah, be, this is going to help everybody. Oh, they're going to they're going to find a way. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Right. Yes. Your water bill is paid, but you've got so many days before it goes in the bank. Yeah. So are you going to print out two water bills? No. One for vendors and one for the other. Then are you going to change the water bill if you don't pay it by the eleventh? It's cut off. For the renters. Uh, just for renters. I mean, will they have a different water bill? No. No. Well, it's how do they know? Because the bill they get in the well, bill we'll have to. They're not going to have a grace period, right? What that mean? But if the bill is there, then how can you enforce it? We'll have to work work with the company that does our billing system because that'll have to just come off. The bill would have to just say two different things. I think she's asking, will this apply to homeowners? No, no, just no, renters. just renters. diligence on our part to know the difference. The bill would have to look different. Right. It'd be the same bill, there'd just be one less sentence on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the question. So there, I mean, That's what she was asking. Yeah. No, we don't send out delinquent bills. Y'all were talking about uh, splitting up the cost of this with the landlords in the city and this, Paul. Okay, the people that are out here that are not renting and own property. How are they paying their part of this uh, loss that the downs have? We don't have a loss from homeowners because no, we have an automatic lien on property when the water's not right. paid. And when it goes through the process of a sale or something, part of the closing, it gets taken care of. Oh, okay. We're trying to keep from doing a lien on so you a rental property. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if some of that money yeah. was from that. No. We don't even charge a deposit. We don't even charge a deposit to homeowners. Because we're covered with a lien yeah. system. Yes? Several of you all know me, but for those on the council that don't, I'm Chase Vincent. I'm a managing partner of Triple S. We have commercial property in Beaverdam. We own Midtown Plaza. We own a building on the corner where Los Mexicanos is, and Copa Cafe is, is getting ready to open another location. And we also own the Valero out by the parkway. Um, I appreciate the discussion that's happened here tonight. And you've answered a lot of my questions in advance by doing so. But I would just ask, um, is there going to be a separate deposit required by a commercial entity? Because, there. you know, I, we have restaurants. We have, like, the gas station has a soda fountain. I don't know how much these commercial entities pay in water per month because up until now it hasn't been any of my business. But we do pay in Hartford for several commercial entities that we have on a shared meter. And they're not even high water users, and that water bill could be $650, $700 a month. So I don't know. I mean, you can see these. I can't. But like our restaurants, some of the other commercial entities, if you let them go a month and a half, that could be, I foresee, $1,500, $2,000 that is on my shoulders. This does not apply to commercial. Right. Does not. Oh. This is residential. It's only residential well, renters. <laughs> but just just for your information, there is a separate deposit set up for right. when I first, commercial. I, I didn't know about this until I saw the article on the OC Monitor, and then the copy of the ordinance that was shared with me included commercial in it. It does? Okay, it does. Another point, well, you know, in, in the discussion that's happened up to this point, you have know, mentioned over and over it does. It does. It does. I don't know if commercial entities are a happen. problem at this point, and if they're not, I would ask that you just eliminate the commercial provision and not make it out of the molehill. But, um, you know, if it is, I would ask that there be considerations given to the deposits, so on and so forth, for commercial entities, and maybe even the type of business that occupies that commercial. We do that as well. We do have a separate uh, deposit system for commercial. I know restaurants are different than, it depends on the type of business you are, and it is substantially higher than what the residential is. 
walls with that. So, so he brought up the me, deposit there, and in this, what I read, it is saying something about the landlord and a deposit. And this guy on the end, I'm not sure what your name is, but he said about a deposit uh, and the landlord and a deposit earlier. If the landlord increased, if you as a landlord increase your deposit. Well, our deposits uh, cover damages. We don't. Uh, it doesn't say in there. I don't even know if it's lawful to us to. Uh, it, it is. It's in state statute that it can cover any unpaid utilities. So he wasn't saying you weren't insinuating that we pay some on their pay part of this increase in their deposit. No, 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 not to no. the city. I've just seen the deposits here in your ordinance. So since Chase brought that up, I thought the commercial was do like our strip mall stuff. So it's not included no. in this. No. So like that was just a misprint. So our commercial property is not included no. in this ordinance here. Okay. No. That's the reason commercial why I have a second reading. It. But it is, <laughs> it is, All you it guys are here now. I to catch. I heard through the, right. I didn't know nothing about this until Friday or when it was. Okay. I heard it was all involved commercial and all. So no. it was discussed. Okay. Under 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 the court navy, it is it is under this ruling. But it's handled differently than the rental property of a house or something. Uh -huh. Commercial property is handled different. So are we still going to be liable for the water bill? <laughs> well, you, the, the city, the you city, the city's so. position on this is, is um, um, and I'm sitting there listening to it, totally appreciative of what the city's doing here because. Uh, they asked me to draft the ordinance. That's my only connection to this thing, is mm -hmm. drafting the ordinance. But I've also had to go back and read what the law in our state is. And the law in our state doesn't say, let's do this, let's increase the city's deposit. It doesn't say, give them the option to, to increase their own deposit. The law in the state is clear. It's, it's, it apparently has been, always been this way, but it is clear that the landowner is equally responsible for the payment of the of the of the water bill as the tenant is it doesn't say they're partly responsible they could be responsible it says they are responsible now so all the things they're saying up here to try to accommodate the, the landlords the owners of the property um, is at substantial variance with what they could be saying, if you understand what I'm saying to y'all. They, they all co also could say, we, we, we're going to apply this thing retroactively. That's never even been considered. And what I think they're trying to do is a, a let, let y'all <coughs> arrive at a situation in which the ordinance is passed is consistent with what almost all other cities in the state have, but not cause y'all to have to eat any of these uh, any of these costs. But what I'm telling y'all is, when this thing originally came up, my thought was, well, the landlords, landowners, may want to actually file a declaration of rights action, which is a lawsuit in circuit court collectively saying, tell us we don't have any responsibility here because we've never had any responsibility <coughs> in our community. But when I went back and saw the, and read the cases and what the law in Kentucky is, you couldn't do that because you're gonna lose. The, the law is clear as to what it says the landowner's responsibility is. So what I'm saying to y'all is number one, they've agreed with the suggestions we had, nothing's retroactive. We're gonna do everything we can to try to have you from not paying anything. And what I'm saying to y'all is, you know, I'm just an old man here. But but all I'm saying to y'all is, I've read, been reading these this, this type of law for over 50 years, and this law is clear. If you, if you contest this, you're gonna lose. Landowners are equally responsible with the tenants and what they're trying to do is say, we're going to do what we can to keep you from paying anything. And you're not going to have to pay anything in the arrears. So that, that's, I'm, I'm just here to tell you what this says. Do I agree with it? I really don't. Because I know most of y'all in here. I don't, I don't want y'all to have to pay anything. They certainly don't. But, but, 
what they're doing <laughs> is an extension of what they're required to do. So. We should have let him go first, y'all. He, we, he yeah. said that right off the bat. I think everybody would be happy now. <laughs> no, well, it's, 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 I mean, it's, 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 I mean, it's, it's, you know, we could give us time to implement oh, and sure. do all mm -hmm. commercial stuff, but if it's not up, then I ain't going to worry about it. And we do appreciate you working you know, yeah, yeah. Work with something. Okay. Very good. Man, I like to see what I mean, you know, it ain't going to stick us with two or three months worth of water. Well, if you noticed everything we tried to do, and I'll, I'll vouch for everybody on this committee, we're trying to help you all down the road. Like I said, with the one the one where we could have somebody gone in 15 days and have an evicted. Yeah. That helped you guys out. Not right. not the city. That helped you guys out. If you're going to remove any reference to commercial, we need to amend the ordinance and not include it at all. That's, and yeah. just deal yeah. with the one issue. Yeah, we're going to take that residential. Check that out. Which and is, I will say. Which is no issue. Like I say, this is going to be a two-way street. Uh, I don't mean to be the bad guy here, but we can't have a landlord calling and saying, hey, I don't have a lease yet, but Joe's good for it, and I want you to go ahead and turn his water on for me because it's not <laughs> going to happen ever again. Yeah. Okay. Paul, let me ask, and I know this is kind of far out, but we didn't even know anything about these proceedings or anything until somebody called us. Is there not a way to let us landlords, because y'all got a list of us, to let us know that there may be an issue? In the it was that yeah, well, it was. We had an, there was an article in the LC Monitor about I the. I don't read that. Sorry, Roger. Yeah, it's probably. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, we, we do publish it in the paper. I thought we published it. They never came. Yeah, I read it, Dustin. What I'm saying is, I do too. I read it all the time. We get letters asking us what plans were, what rental property we've got, because we send that in. I don't, if we could get a letter, just a notice saying there's going to be discussion about something, because like I said, and I, I don't, I don't like computers, I don't like cell phones, so I'm an old lady that just doesn't care about anything. <laughs> if everybody leave their email address, we can start a page. Well, I don't do that yep. either. <laughs> All right. We have a meeting once a month. Six o'clock. All right. Yeah, but I don't know. Our email address, our email address not on that paper we fill out with our. The only way we knew we got the call. I get email. Well, we do have a new. Shelby was just talking about it. In fact, it's just now going into effect. I'm not even sure if it's 100 percent yet. Uh, this new reach alert system, where we can make one call systems to people. It could have been something like that done. And Once it gets implemented, but we'll need phone set numbers. It up just, just <coughs> they boards. they have to call in and set it up, right? You can either call in um, or come in the office. I can sign you up personally, or we have a website that you can go on. Can sign up. But you'll get a phone call and or a text. Mm -hmm. So if we if they were to say, yeah, we want to do that, if there's going to be something on the agenda that pertains to landlords, I can send then you would out. they would yeah. send a message out saying. That would be nice. All we got is him and I would sign up If they send you a text, you don't get it because you don't like cell phones. Well, he does. <laughs> <laughs> I don't use his cell phone. I don't. Hey, well, text, right? I've known Keith Dale for all my life. We'll just tell Keith and now he'll get it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we know. <laughs> well, I had to pay for that. It had to pay for two weeks. It was a rigorous difference. These are a little different. This one goes into the paper tomorrow, this week. This one will go in the paper. But after the meeting, though. I know. But that's the way I can't help the Kentucky like, statute. But that's state statute. Yeah. I had somebody back here. Yeah, I was just going to ask. Some people may know. What's the process for on the city's part for collecting from the tenant before you come to the landlord? What's that look like? Well, we'll try to get a hold of them and, and call them. That's the, about all we can do because a lot of times when they leave, we have no idea where they go. The, now, I, I understand that. The most times what we're going to find out is when Hartford or Ohio County or Fordsville calls and says, hey, ABC is wanting to come in for water. And it's no like, disrespect, but I, you know, if somebody over here had a bus and I can't get a hold, find somebody and, you know, they're not able for it anyway, but... You know somebody that is that you see all the time. 
Well, again, it comes it comes <laughs> back to who, who benefits from the yeah. service, and that's we're trying to be as fair as we can, without disparaging the residents and ratepayers and taxpayers of the city. Oh, sure. You're talking about cutting it off on the 11th. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know whether you had this happen to you or not, but I've sent letters. I sent my bills in by mail. I don't have anything withdrawn from my checking account automatically. And sometimes the mail is a few days short. You know how, you know how the things are anymore, and shipping and all this is... Uh, but cutting it off on the 11th is kind of quick if the mail is slow, uh, I'll modify my what I said on the 30th, give them to the 15th. Because if the mail happens to be slow and it comes in on the 12th and you cut them off on the 11th, then mm -hmm. I know how the post office is anymore. Sometimes yep. it's a little bit Well, slow. again, it comes back to it where, in, in my opinion, the person with the water, the renter is going to take a little bit of responsibility somewhere to get stuff in on time. Exactly right. Uh, how you know, they could say it may not come into the 16th. Mail. You got to open door. Right? Well, we, have a, a we, have we have a night drop yeah. box. And auto pay. There's no excuse. Yeah, and auto pay. Yeah. First. No. Before the first. It was out for the first year. You're, you're talking about a day after the yeah. tenth. Yeah, yeah. So, so they've got the. And bill. if they bring you it out two the weeks, to put it in the deposit box in here. It's all Macon County, so it doesn't get. They don't shut them off. Right. I'll it. I'll it. Okay. Well, if they don't pay, you cut them off, and they come a few days later and pay. How's that work? Then they pay a reconnect fee. Yeah, they pay a reconnect fee. Cool. A reconnect fee is fifty dollars for the first time. If you have a second reconnect within a twelve month period. It's a hundred dollars, and then it's a hundred dollars from then on. So, what if you cut it off and they go out and say my place is nasty as crap, and I need some water? Can I come down there and say, look, will you turn it on for me, and I pay the bill, or do I got to pay a reconnect fee? Yeah, wait, you're doing it as your as the landlord. Yes. In other words, you know, I, All right, I get it gets you. out and it's nasty, and you got to have water clean. Then right. we have to pack five gallon buckets up there. Can I come down there? And not pay a reconnect fee and get it turned on long enough. I mean, I'll pay the bill. I mean, well, the, the idea is well, if there's is enough in the deposit, it's going to cover, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 But I think what he's asking is if. So they move out. Yeah. They let the place jump. Pay a reconnect fee to get that off. The landlord won't have to because you're yeah. paying the bill. Right. Because you're not being reconnected. All right. That's all I can okay. I just didn't want something in the future to happen. I come down here and I'll be like, can y'all turn it on a little bit and they clean it up? And you'll be like, okay, it's going to cost you 100 bucks. And I'm like, what? <laughs> You're the homeowner. You're the homeowner. Okay. My question is for everybody. Are you satisfied that we're trying to work with you? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. Okay. That helps. That, that means a lot. It does mean a lot. Now, can you try just to hire a deposit for a couple months and see if that helps out before it goes back to the landlord? Or are you all immediately going to put it today that it goes back to the landlord? Even if we did it today, it only starts tomorrow. You won't have anything. Yeah. So anybody that comes in tomorrow and rents from you is going to pay the whatever we decide on. Yeah. But like I said, then a month from now, if they cut their, if you, we cut their water off, that will come out of that deposit. They have we to don't affect it. anything that happened before it's already happened. <laughs> this goes into effect. We don't affect it. Anything else? So, do I get it uh, correct when you're saying that they they leave Owen a bill? I mean, he would just said something there, and I need to go in and clean it up. I'm gonna have to pay that bill before no. I have yeah. oh. that. No. I can yes. Oh, yeah. cool. the bill have to be paid. No, to no reconnect fee. Right. But so I've got to pay their bill before I can clean their house up. Mm -hmm. But there will be a deposit. If it's over the deposit. Right, anything yeah. over the deposit. Mm -hmm. So if your deposit is going to, you don't know yet what you're going to raise it to. That's something they're going to have to decide here before we vote. Well, on, on this the sheet, of, I think the highest one I saw was 343, I think. If we raise it to 300, that's going to yeah, cover we don't. Yeah. How much you're going to you're gonna get. Just as a matter of fact, we're trying to. Do, do what is it now? 150. I think these go to 225. We're splitting the 150. Yeah. So you're right. I think 225 is fine. That's what I'm recommending. Like I said, most of them are going to be bad. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm that big. I don't want to shatter the opinion. It's not something. Because that's what I say. There was only one disaster more like six times. We're also trying to do this. I can't hear you. Hang on, what? Oh yeah, you can. You can exactly. Be, be legal, legal. Legal. That's true. Don't keep talking for a minute. <laughs> All right. Are you leaving? Yeah. Well, it's not you leaving? She got to talk to somebody. I guess. Congratulations. We do that. Thank you. 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 you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. That's right. So you want me to go in and make a motion? Do I need to put that in our main, main motion? We amend it as. Yeah, you amend it first. I put it in our motion. We approve this order with the amendment uh, oh. taken out. That would be two, two motion to amend it and then pass it, or that can be done on. If we're going to take the commercial out, I think we'll pass it. We go ahead and file a motion to take it out and approve the amendment. Yes, two motions. But do you have to? I don't think you have to amend to pick it out. Yeah, you can't. There'll just be a motion to. A motion? I know, it's hard. Take it out of the second reading. That's what you're saying, dude, right? But can we go ahead and make the motion to do it and then take it out? No, we're all the same motion. Okay. That's what we're making. We're doing all the same motion. We're going to do it all the same motion. Yeah. 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 Are you going to do it? I'll do it. I don't care. Do you ever want to do it? Are you going to raise it to 225? Is that what you're going to raise it to? Okay, if I can have y'all's attention, we were trying a little housekeeping up here with the legal side of it, the legalese side of it. But I think if no one else has any questions about the water. I got a comment. Okay. okay. Uh, it sounds like the water department is running a loose ship. I mean, if the bill gets up to that deposit, it should be cut off in a couple of days. It shouldn't run up to three, four, five dollars. Uh, well, there's a couple things with that. Number one, we can't read meters every day. Well, when they, when Bill... Number two, when when we come out and read somebody, so if we come out and read your meter today and it's unusually high, we should turn you off? If you've paid every month? I say you got a leak possibly. We do. Possibly. And that's that's part of this process but, right here. I mean, ultimately, the water department's business, right? Kind of yes, it is. All the homeowners, or uh, landlords are trying to make money. And just take the easy way out and push it off on the landlords. No, the easy way out would be push it all off on the landlords, which we're not doing. Yeah, that would be the easiest way. So, no, we didn't by any means take no, the easy way out. We're making progress, but... I'm and the water department's run very well. Like yeah. I said, we can't just go turn it off just because somebody's bill is right. high. And that could be that could be a person's monthly usage. Yeah. We have some that are pretty high, unbelievably. Yeah. Or fill up a swimming pool or something like that. There's always something like that can happen, so. They fill up a swimming pool, you can call and get an yeah, adjustment on the sewer. Yeah. And do you have the manpower to be there on the 11th, turn it off? Yep. Um, oh, yeah. And get the database together and who's calling who, the landlord's about, it, you know what I mean? It's who's no different turning it off on the 11th than it is turning it off on the 24th. Yeah. Well, no, but if you have. I mean, four of manpower. Say, yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got 12 yeah. people that are getting turned off that day and something else is already gone. You've got. That's going to be a weekly, I mean a monthly agenda. Oh, it's the 11th. Let's hit the we do it every month. Yep. One other thing that's not even being discussed is the positive effects that are having. They cut start cutting water off. You want to bring that up? Okay. One of the things that I mentioned to me just now is think about the positive this is going to do if we start cutting people's water off. They're going to start getting their bills in. And if they're getting, you know, if we start cutting the water off and then we get this other thing done where they're going to be evicted after five days or whatever, I guarantee you they're going to get their water bill paid. If you know you're going to be evicted. So this is, I think, in the long run, going to help you all 
down the road. It may not help you right this very instant, but I think down the road it's going to help you. It's going to give you a, another option. I just wonder how legal it is to throw them out after 15 days with them not paying their water bill. That's, that's kind of you know, it's a safety issue, it's, health yeah. issue, health having issue. someone living in a house with no running water. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, he's talking about throwing them out, actually. Yeah. 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 Well, but if it's a safety issue, you can throw them out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You want to ask any more comments? Any more comments? I got one. Uh, so the lamp, if you're going to, if you shut the water off, you're talking about the, they can't live there. Are they going to get a, how are they going to be notified? Are they going to be re-notified of that? Well, the living there part's not been not, settled yet. That's something that we're going to have to find we out. We have to do that and get everything lined up to do that later. That's not been determined. Yeah, we have not got that, that all done yet. That is not part so. of this ordinance that we're talking no. about tonight. This is a complete, this is just for the water side of it. This is not about the eviction side of it. This is just for the water side. Is that going to be included in this? The no, eviction, it no. cannot be until we get cannot. okay from probably Attorney General. And yeah. find out that it is legal. Yeah. But that's something we've been working on for all better of a year now. Yeah, better than on the water with, because like I said, we have houses here in town, people have been living for a year with no water. So you know you're subsidizing their sewer bill because you know they're flushing that toilet. Mm -hmm. Run water from next door neighbor, or they'll go get a gallon of water somewhere. Yeah. Are you somebody? But it's a sanitary and health issue. Yard? I mean, that, they do a lot of that. One of them story builds back at one of mine. I didn't know it was there. They run a hose and everything else over. <laughs> yeah. I repoed it. All right. Ready to entertain a motion? I move to approve the ordinance for the collection of the water bill with the deletion of reference to commercial. I second. Are you going to make that uh, price? Yeah, include the uh, include the deposit, deposit amount in there. Uh, deposit amount two fifty. Oh, that's two. Okay. Two fifty. Second. 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 Yeah. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. And thank each one of you. If you'd like to stay for the rest of the meeting, you're well, more than welcome. Thank you all. Yeah. But if you need to leave, feel free to get late. And it's a mass exodus. Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, back to work. Who was that? Where'd you go? Do you know who that was? Did you go to my gym? Do you know who that was? Oh, I did not go to that. I didn't recognize you. The one that says shoddy. Oh, one that was shoddy. Angie? Didn't know me. Think you did okay? Who's the one back there with that bow? I just appreciate you. I just appreciate you. No problem. I appreciate it. Hey, like I said, I can't see you. I'll take you out. If you have to look at the series, you've got to repeat it back there. He needs more. He needs more. I appreciate you. I don't know that bow. You were both got his hand over there. I trust you more than you can. I can't see. He didn't talk about it. I couldn't play that. Get back in. I'm sorry? Uh, no, that's, you're talking about the total of this is like... No, the road, that's not the road. No, the road, road no, no, no. He puts it about the edge of the point. There's a gap that they're not supposed to be on. But this one is going to hold Next, next item, solid waste management plan. Lord, I already put it down. 
Just repeat it. I like them all. We changed that date for Second. Motion is seconding further discussion. Motion mm -hmm. signified with aye. Opposed, uh, same. Just motion thing. passes. Yeah. Down under new business, sale of old fire engine 23. Make a motion we sell. Is there a price you want to put on it? Yeah, we just need post. David. 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 <laughs> just, is there a price you want out of it? No, I'm still working on an assessment. Okay. Um, We're going to put it on. I guess we need to declare a surplus so we can put it before we can sell it. Uh, what do you want to sell it at on local or just go? Um, he's going to look and see if he can broker it. If he can, it'd be a whole lot quicker. If not, he's going to let me know. We got to go through the gov deal. And we can put it on that gov dot deal, yes. whatever. Yeah. Well, I'll make a motion we put it on that, please, and try and get rid of it. Second. Okay, motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. Uh, housing Authority ditch. We had a letter from the Housing Authority. They've got a ditch with some drainage problems coming through there, and they've asked for our assistance to help clean it out. The, and the Housing Authority is not technically the city. Yet. The cities are associated with the city, other than we have authority to appoint their board. Which, uh, but they did ask, and we felt since it is going on private property, we needed. And but since it was the Housing Authority, we'd want to try to work with them. But we felt we needed to bring that to this commission. Do a motion to clean out the ditch? Motion is okay. Make motion to clean out the ditch. Yeah. One thing I'd like to add is there, the ditch the ditch is going across not a road, so we're going to be in their yard. There will be some tracks made. In an individual's yard or in the housing the property? Housing yard. Do they know that? Well, I don't know how they know it. I mean, we're, we're going we're gonna, we're gonna to damage some of the yard. They need to know that before we yeah. come on there. Yeah, if that's the case, that's, I think we need to make sure it's okay for us to go on. That's something they need to be liable for if we... Right. That's what they need to know before we get on there. So do we need to breeze in that one then? No, just Check with the house and authority on that? I think it's still a go. It just needs to be in a motion that... We're not responsible, responsible for, for the, the clean the repair of the damaged yard. Yard. Okay. I'll make that motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify aye. 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 Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is an annexation. Is that what we talked about? Mm -hmm. okay. Please, uh, what I'm going to pass out to you, I didn't see this until it came in uh, or late this afternoon. So it was, it was a, it was, uh, Typos, there's a typo and a mistake on the last page. So when you look at this, look at it with the understanding, I'm going to have to correct this and get it back to you for secretary in the morning. Okay. Just to get rid of that, those, those, those typos. And this is just a proposed annexation this yeah this is what they call an ordinance of intent to annex right right uh, we were approached some time ago by some property owners who were having some issues with wastewater septic and septic tanks they adjoin the city limits currently there's about I think 10 houses involved in it we've been able to obtain some grant funds to help run sewer to these people but at the same time uh, the way we're looking at it it can open some future development to about four or five hundred acres for future development. So we're doing something that could be big for the community over the long haul, over the next 20 years or so. So we're pretty excited about it. And like I say, being able to get grant funding for most all of it. There are, as with anything else, a couple of property owners who don't want to be annexed. They don't want the sewer. Uh, but we have a majority of them that do. So with this uh, ordinance of intent to annex, it just is a different process we go about it. And it does take a little longer to get it done, but this is our first step to, to pass this ordinance. Where's the property in the acreage? It's out. Knight subdivision. Yeah. For Charlotte. Charlotte Knight moves out of the way. I'm sorry. I'm, I know where it is, so y'all are supposed to know where it is. <laughs> Well, I was kind of reading this, and I wasn't real sure. So. And you've been in on the conversation, Sandy. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I'll show you. 
It wasn't yesterday, right? The sewer line right. big enough, though, it can handle if you add it on both sides of it, though. It Do we have specific quite right information right anyway. about yes. the right people in the yeah. proposed yeah. annex? Well, can Huck's somebody get that to Huck's me so we can send out the all notification this. and stuff? Okay, I was going to ask you after the meeting if you did that or if Shelby needed to do it because I brought her a thing today to show us well, how to go about it. Probably, it probably Working needs together. to bear her signature, but I don't mind preparing it. Okay. Okay. We'll get that taken care of for you. I think there's 10 or 11 I thought, properties. I thought there's more than that. Is it that, is that I think it's 11. Okay. They got to have 55 percent. Uh, they have to have 50, if they have 50 percent of the property owners oppose it, then it goes on the ballot. Right. Then it takes 55% right. right. to defeat it. Right. That's but correct. from what we're looking at, I don't think the 50% of the property owners are there. Yeah. And that, if they, if and they got a limited amount of time to do it, so the second one <coughs> could, could actually come pretty quickly yeah. if we get some input. Yeah. And like I say, we're looking at a pretty big expenditure to run sewer to these people, right. and I, I, especially when the majority of them are needing it. Some of them are needing it. There's one house out there, my understanding, it's not even livable because... Uh, they will, of course, they'll get notice, but, mm -hmm. but they might impart the information to somebody and the sooner we know the better. Yeah. And Paul, yeah. will the two bills come out the same with that annex area also, like it does on down? We have the city bill and the county bill? Yes, for yeah. water and sewer. Yeah. sewer. yeah. For right now, we're working on that. In order of uh, motion, mm -hmm. I move to approve the motion uh, ordinance for desire and intent to annex. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Uh, opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item doesn't really require any approval tonight, but I want to hand you out some. We have been talking about quite some time. Of course, we're having a lot of problems, as many of you may know, with property maintenance and some property that's getting in pretty bad shape within the city corporate limits. We have a lot of stuff through our code enforcement right now, but a lot of it is based on nuisance. And uh, you can talk to several people and find out my idea of a nuisance is not necessarily <laughs> their, their idea of a nuisance. So we've been working with a legal team at KLC. I got some information together. They have enacted, been several years ago, well now actually 2012, what they call the International Property Maintenance Code. And this is code that has been accepted on the international community. It's used nationally in uh, most cities in the state of Kentucky, or a number of them I've talked to anyway, go by this already. It's the Morgantown. Morgantown does go by. Yeah. It's pretty in-depth. But again, it comes up to what we're trying to get accomplished. You know, there's some of these, I'll be honest with you, there's some houses here in town I wouldn't want to live next door to. And I wouldn't expect any of you all to have to live next door to them. We've tried the, the nuisance route, and that's not working so well. So this is the route I'm suggesting, and I want to give all this information out to everybody, including here is a letter that talks about community without good housing can't stay communities for long. Uh, I'm finding out from a lot of people talking about when they look at the communities, they, want to, they drive through. I've got some commercial people, retail people we've been working with through our retail consultant that look around and they're like, you know, you, you've got some areas that need some, some attention. So what I'm going to hand out to everybody now on our commission, and i got a copy for you, A.V., as well, and Larry, is the, the, the sample legislation for the International Property Maintenance Code. I have done a lot of work with Morgantown because they've got one that's been working real well. There are several things in this we are excluding, uh, several things of it we are changing or tweaking or adding to a little bit. And that's what this second page is. is the, so if everybody just deal, bear with me for a minute. After the meeting's all over, we can go a little more in depth if you want to. But if you give that to A.V. Kevin. Charles. Sandy. James. And Larry. Paul, does this deal with the uh, structure of the house, I think, as well as the trash, the yard, the debris, and the upkeep of the premises? Structure to some extent, uh, like visible cracks in foundation, it could go that far. Uh, it can go even into the interior. That's something I don't know if we're ready to tackle yet. But this is more just outside. We need to uh, kind of this crawl is, before we walk. Is this, enforced, is this enforced through the code enforcement? Yes, being posted through code enforcement. It includes 
uh, there's a whole lot of stuff. Gra the grass and weeds, of course, uh, rodents, uh, junk cars, trash, debris, furniture, refrigerators out in the yard. I was going to say, I segway that debris into our, into our dishes. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. But we don't have to do anything on that. No, this is just for y'all to look over and we can talk homework. about. Homework. I mean, yeah, homework, as Sandy said. Works for me. I got an extra copy. How did that work out there? I don't know. Okay, next item is resolution of on House Bill 50 and Senate Bill 50. Uh, most of y'all might even be aware of this. In the state of Kentucky, uh, cities and counties can determine if they are, if their elections are partisan or nonpartisan. Right now, all city elections with of the 415 415 cities in the Commonwealth of Kentucky, only six of them are determined by partisan elections. 400, uh, 409 of them just have, like we do, nonpartisan, which makes the election process a whole lot easier. It makes the uh, primary process a whole lot easier and the, the general election a whole lot easier. Well, someone has decided that they think they know how to work the cities better and they have passed a bill or put a bill in the House and the Senate to change that, forcing all It'd be all cities to go partisan, all the way down to the Soil Conservation Board would be partisan, Republican or Democrat. And this resolution is something that a lot of cities in Kentucky are passing, and uh, I'd like to read this to you. Whereas the Kentucky General Assembly has proposed bills in both the Kentucky Senate and the Kentucky House of Representatives to require partisan local elections for the offices of county commissioner, mayor, legislative <laughs> body members, all city offices, and soil and water conservation officers, this would, this would also include school board members. Whereas it has been the collective experience of members of this body that the question of party affiliation is an infrequent question during a campaign, suggesting the voters do not consider this issue a significant concern. And whereas KRS 82.082 establishes the policy of home rule for cities in the Commonwealth, recognizing the importance of local decisions since local government can best establish the city policies and structures that work best to address local issues and problems, and whereas, in keeping with the policy of home rule, KRS 83A.045 currently allows local legislative bodies and boards to opt for partisan elections, giving those with the best insight into the will of their constituents the ability to make the change if it is dire, desired by the voters. And whereas the home rule city, this commission feels that this issue should remain a local decision and should not be mandated upon cities, and whereas there are currently 415 cities in the Commonwealth and only six of those cities have determined the need to conduct partisan elections for their local cities, whereas the passage of this bill and the change of 409 city elections to partisan elections will represent a departure from home rule governing and will cause a substantial increase in election costs and organizational efforts within jurisdictions throughout the state, whereas local government traditionally provides the services used by citizens on a daily basis including parks and recreation, emergency medical services, police and fire services, economic development, streets, sewers, water service, trash disposal, and other public work services, which are generally local issues that do not generally fall, follow party ideology. And whereas cities have recognized an increased challenge in putting in, excuse me, in finding qualified people to uh, serve in local elected positions and see the addition of a primary, as well as the potential of a partisan act Acrimony. I can't even say Acrimony. Acrimony. I knew that. I don't think that's right either. I don't but either really. <laughs> a further, a further hurdle in attracting good people to these positions, and whereas this commission has been nonpartisan and has done work very well across the board, fostering cooperation between elected officials belonging to different parties, and whereas the commission ultimately sees no significant benefit to requiring partisan elections that would warrant the additional costs and challenges presented by requirement. Now. Therefore, be it resolved that the city of Beaverdam, Kentucky, urges our state legislators to vote against House Bill 50 and has, uh, Senate Bill 50, as well as any other future legislation that requires partisan elections on a local level. And I would ask for a motion to approve that resolution. So we'll move. make a motion. We approve it. Shelvin. Here's that for you. I think we were pretty close. I think we all want to say second left. Well, yeah. We have a motion second, so we, we can have some discussion now. Like I say, this is something that 409 cities don't have chosen not to do it. Six have chosen to do it, and our uh, big cities. 
president of the Senate decided, and who's a Republican, and I'm a Republican, but he thinks that we need to get in there to try to get more Republicans. Simple as that. Uh, the whole idea on the city level is let's get the people who want to serve and the people who have the best interest in the city. And I don't care if you got a D or an R after your name. I don't care if you're white, black, pink, or purple. If you want to be a part of it and be involved with it, we don't need to put up roadblocks. So yeah. I've said my piece. I'm that sorry. That super majority <laughs> gone to his head, hasn't it? A little bit. Motion and a motion second. Motion and a second. I'm going to amen. <laughs> Those in favor, sing five with aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is an interlocal government agreement that we've been asked to participate in. This would include the county fiscal court and the city of Hartford, Centertown, Fordsville, McHenry, and Rockport. Basically, it's if they have a problem, need equipment. We have a problem, need equipment, we can all work together on it. It's just something that hadn't been updated in a long time. And uh, well, Judge Johnson brought this to ago, yeah, yeah Judge Johnson brought this to our attention. So. Well, I make a motion we go ahead and Approved do resolution. this because we we need to be I'll working with everybody again. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify the time. Aye. Uh, same. Motion passes. Okay, Mr. Stouffer? Yes. <laughs> Wake up. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry. I brought coffee. Sorry. I knew we were going to be here. <laughs> it's going to take just a minute. That's uh, something we have to do every year. Yeah. Um, I think everybody has this letter in front of you. Mm -hmm. And it's just a request that we can uh, uh, prepare and write the grant to the farmer's market at Beaver Dam. And I put in there what the maximum amount would be. <clears throat> we never go to that maximum amount for one reason or another. But uh, I want to make sure we added that in there for the CFA. Double dollars grant <coughs> and market manager a support grant and the KDF a advertising grant. And this money comes from uh, Kentucky Department of Agriculture and United States Department of Agriculture and filters through the <coughs> Farm Alliance and we can apply for these grants. And because the city is our fiscal agent, uh, we need to get permission to write the grants from the city before we do that so it can be entered in our meetings. Do, um, do, do, well, do we run down last year? That second largest year we'd ever had had about 5,900 people attend. Had the largest kids day we'd ever had. If you were down there, it was kind of overwhelming us because we weren't expecting that big, but uh, that big. So, uh, pretty good year. And we want to work with you this year through the Sesquicentennial Committee to try to make it even bigger. <laughs> okay. More help with that. <laughs> yeah, teach me how to say that word. I can't say I've it. I've been practicing <laughs> it. Just say 150. <laughs> yeah, 150. Let's do those one at a time, don't we? Yeah, I think we need to do these one at a time. Yeah, I'll move to approve the Kentucky Double Dollar Grant. Okay. Th that's number one. Second. M motion is second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. I'll make a motion that we <coughs> move to do the CFA Market Management Support Grant, market event, whatever. 50-50 Should be co-op, I think. Second. That's number two. Shelby, if that helps you out, and I'll give you this list. We have a motion and second. Those in favor? Uh, same five, aye. Aye. Opposed, same. And? Um, oh, number three, you ready? Mm -hmm. I make a motion that we approve the Kentucky Advertising Grant application with a 50-50 match. Second. Have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Thank you. Motion passes. For what you do. This is something we're really proud of our farmer's market. You're welcome. Um, and none of these grants, we won't know for a while, but uh, even if we did get those, these won't be active until after July 1. So it'll be on next fiscal year. We'll yeah. be on this one. Appreciate support. Um, I've been in there for a while. Last time I was in there, that's a big flip. We're getting there. <laughs> all right. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. James, you anything? No. I, I don't have anything. I think that the meeting went well and everybody conducted themselves very, very, very respectfully tonight. And every phone call that I have had has been very, very respectful. Uh, and I do want to mention that. Before um, we wrap things up, uh, my name is Maria, 
Okay, if you can give me one second. We're going to come back to everybody in the room. Yeah, yeah, We're going to give everybody a chance to talk. We're not leaving yet. No. No. <laughs> We're not going to do, do, do that. We're not going to do that. We don't leave anybody out. We let everybody know. <laughs> no, I appreciate, I appreciate that. So. You're good. You're good. Yeah, we got yeah, everybody to talk. up here when I was old, old, old folks get out of here. It's pretty bad when I'm the youngest one up here. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 yes. I don't. I think everything I have to be yes, covered. She is that. No, I just echo Jim. I appreciate everybody's cooperation and concern tonight. Kim? I'm good. Everything went great tonight. I was no surprised. Problem. It's great. No, no pickleball. Don't leave. Don't even go there. <laughs> Larry? Uh, yes, we need to advertise for 231 waterline replacement from East 8th to East 10th. Uh, we need to get the language together and get the paper tomorrow. Uh, Scotty's is showing up in town. They're going to start good working on the drainage on 231 from uh, the hotel for hotel up to Fuller's. Then they're going to relocate. They're going to relocate the storm drain, some water piping, and some sewer piping. Uh, all the old curbing is coming out. so. The, the game plan is when they go to blacktop, they're going to blacktop from 62 to 62. Oh. So we've got to get our water line out. We need to get it into ground. Everything is ready, supposedly, at Bigger Staff's office. So we just need the wording to put in the paper for the bid process, time frame. Uh, it, it, it can be as basic as Beaver Dam is taking bids on water line replacement approximately 900 feet. Uh, any additional information can be picked up at Bigger Staff and Ward. <coughs> and we want to take bids. Uh, we'll open bids on March 13th. we can be at our next meeting. Uh, I hope to approve, you know, within a few days shortly after that, and get this process moving. We're going to be blacked off one time. That'd be great. I'll make that motion. We have every time for bids. It's got to time to get the thing tomorrow. started. Second. Okay, we have a motion and second. Any further discussion? I will say that just be prepared, folks. <laughs> it's going to be an ordeal this spring. I, I ask them, and I, won't, I shouldn't say this. I think their guess is as good as our guess right yeah. now. What's that? It's going to be down to one lane. Park. They intend to keep it open. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The water line won't bother the traffic. It'll be drilled under the sidewalk. Yeah. The water line, it's just the paving will be. Well, the relocation the of, the, of the drain the, stuff. This water line, yeah, it has nothing. It's outside the streets. But I'm just giving everybody a heads up on the street portion of it. Yeah. Because they're, they're going down to dirt, folks. Uh, and they're going to re-gravel and they're going to re-crown and repave and put the i didn't know for sure if they're going to do new curbs i was hoping to keep the ones there and just dig out back to the bottom of them but heck i wish they'd do new sidewalks too that would be great how long will it take our water issue this is from 62. yeah that's that way that way i think you said the fullers that fullers midtown midtown, midtown. That Oh, God, I got excited. There's a tension in the room. Sorry. <laughs> it is both full, but yeah. Okay, we have a motion on the floor. Those in favor, same, five, five. Opposed, uh, same. Motion passes. That's all that I have. Okay. Now we'll start yeah. on this side of the room. <laughs> all right. Well, to begin, I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for your patience. And also, um, I'm here with some friends and family because we have a proposition for you all. So, since it is Black History Month, we thought it would be appropriate to ask for the approval to plant a tree in honor of Black History with a standing plaque in front of it. If we can be real here, Kentucky, we're one of those states that we don't really get a lot of recognition. You know, we've created a lot of good things. We have beautiful scenery, rich bluegrass history, amazing wildlife, the Kentucky Derby, and we still have trouble getting recognized. So I feel like not only as Kentuckians, but people of the city of Beaverdam in Ohio County, it's our job to pick up that slack. If we're not getting all the recognition that we could, as a community, we could lift up each other 
and from the past and the present and the future, and not only recognize but celebrate all the riches that this city possesses. Because not the riches this city possesses, we have the two most um, tourist attractions here that bring a lot of attention, a representation of the county. And we also, I'm pretty sure Beaver Dam is the most diverse city in Ohio County. It really, I think it is. Probably. So That's that just right. shows, like, out of all the people in here, all the understanding and back and forth, you know, stuff like that, it's been a really open uh, vibe, and I really appreciate it. And, you know, out of all the riches that we have, I think that the biggest one is our people. Yes. So, Black History Month, it sounds just like, oh, like, let's just only pay attention to black people, that's it. But it's really just a sense of, in addition to the community, like let's just bring something up and talk about the addition to the community that we could make. And with the beautification of our city, this tree, even though it's just a simple little tree, could stand for so much and show the future youth because a lot of the youth coming up are mixed race children. Mm -hmm. So if there's not a lot of role models or leaders that represent those mixed race or black children, at least they could have one solid, concrete thing, representation that shows, okay, a lot has come from this city, a lot of talent, a lot of professionalism, like maybe I can do that too, you know? So, to get to um, the point, to talk some turkey with y'all. <laughs> if it, to my attention, whenever we started the Make Old On Great Again um, situation a couple years ago, we received some donations from the supporters. So to my attention, there is a certain amount of money put back that could go towards this. And if not, the group of people, the community, that supported Make Odin Great Again was primarily funded through my family's business, Boss Legacy. It is an entertainment business for music, churches, everything like that. So if the um, money that I, that, I, that I mentioned isn't available to us, then since it's only about $300 rough to do this, our entertainment business would totally cover that. And, you know, after confirming your status, if there's any extra details you all would like to speak about, then I'd gladly be able to do that with you all. I have a question. Where were you going to put the tree? Well, that's um, a detail that I'm <laughs> glad to discuss with you. <laughs> where would, so, okay, where would you like to put the tree? Yeah, that's the thing. <laughs> See, okay. you, are you wanting to put it at Oldham? Is that where you're wanting to put it? Either Oldham, somewhere near the amphitheater, because that's where we get a lot of traffic and people would notice, like... Okay. Well, that's what we I'm didn't want to just assume that, because if you were thinking Oldham, we didn't want to mess with your plans, but if you'd rather have it up somewhere near the amphitheater, that's not a problem either. Yeah. Amphitheater would get more attention. See, yep. thank you for the communication and everything. Like, that's where we get a lot of traffic, so it would let people know, like, okay, I'm comfortable here. Like, everybody's welcome here. Not just one or the other. See, that's the thing. I, I, that's why I want to know. If, you, if you're going to put it at Oldham, that's one thing. But if you're going to put it at the amphitheater or down in there in that park, that makes a completely different thing. Again, I think you're going to get a higher traffic volume down there than you do at Oldham. No offense to Oldham, but you got a lot of people going in down there. Correct. We're on the same page with yeah. that. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, it's, a, it's entirely... I think that's good. I, I mean, I have no problem with it. I have no problem with it at all. No problem with it at all. Uh, I think okay. you're about the tree. In, in fact, we're even... Talk so about we are, um, we're on the same page about the placement of this tree yeah. at the amphitheater? Yeah, you, well, I mean, well, that's get, something you can get, get with me. I'm the head of the parks department, and you just get, and heck, everybody at that table knows me just about. So you get in touch with me, and, and we'll get there and go down there and look and pick out a place. We can do it. Do and yeah. The reason we say that, for one reason, there's fixing to be some, a few changes we're making down there yeah. that you might not know about. That's why if you can get with Kevin, 
there may be, we may suggest a place that you don't like, but it may be, end up being a whole lot higher visible, exactly. more visibility in two months than it is now. <laughs> that makes sense. You all, y'all, you know what you're doing, you know. Well, I'm not sure about that, but. <laughs> well, <laughs> if not, I'm second to that. We all have a cabin. <laughs> But, Did yeah. you all have a specific type of tree in mind? I mean, I know Paul knows a lot about trees. And we'll get Arbor Day trees. Well, what, what would be your recommendation that would look well at the park? And be sturdy. And <clears throat> yeah. Blue spruce? Well, that would blue spruces have, have a hard like time living here because yeah. of humidity. Yeah. Uh, they don't have a long lifespan. What we've done out here around City Hall, you know, on the street is a maple, and I would have to look. Because I talked to the one of the nurseries in Owensboro and asked them that same thing, what's your recommendation? And they had the, it's a maple tree that is a very brilliant color in the fall, and it grows pretty big. And it doesn't have, it's not like some of the maples that have trouble with the roots at the top of the ground. This one is not as problem. But I can't tell you the name of it off the top of my head. We can get that kind of information for you. Well, I appreciate that. And just one last thing. Since um, we're all in the Arbor Day season, I think it's important that we all I would also like to agree on a time period to put this in action and have a casual ceremony that the community will all know about so that way it can be acknowledged. Let me ask you we this. We do time. Like, it's winter right, right now. Right, right. But yeah. we are a Tree City USA mm -hmm. city, and we do have Arbor Day events and there will be stuff this year which is in April. Would you be interested in tying it in with Arbor Day? Yes. Celebration? And make it? Yeah, yeah. We don't have to wait till April to necessarily plan it, but... What all, um, what celebrations? Well, you? Arbor Day is, is where they promote tree planting and, and, and reforestation. So, uh, in fact, we've got some plans we're working on through the Sesquicentennial Committee to get more trees planted this year. But, uh, Arbor Day is just where you have kind of a recognition of how the importance of trees and tree planting in your community. Okay, uh, it, it would tie both both in with what we're doing. And I think that's clever, yeah. The, so that would be in April. Are you all all right with this? Yes. Yeah. It's not the tree, depends on how well, when you plant it, but really past April, not a good time to plant trees. No, I want to get, probably want to get the tree planted sometime in March. Yeah. yeah. So it gets a base to the weather better. If I mean, if you don't want to wait, that's fine. I well, just, you said something about putting the plaque up too, which would, that we could do that. The plaque the, and stuff at Arbor Day and make a yeah, make and it. tie it in with the Arbor Day celebration, make the yeah. celebration because a lot of times we haven't had one for several years just because of COVID. Yeah. Yeah. Arbor Day requested we not, so but we well, can this year. The time frame and everything like that. I'm working with you guys. You know, I'm. Yeah, I'm fine. Just get in touch with me. Cindy knows, Sherry knows, all of them know how to get in touch with me. Did you Jay even can get in touch with me. A suggestion of something that you were thinking <laughs> to go on the plaque? Have yes. you all come up with something like that? Possibly a quote, um, something along the lines of, like maybe a Maya Angelou quote, you know, still I rise, you know, play off of that. Or, you know, just talk with the community and then come back to you guys about that. That's no problem. That's we fine. Can, we can, we can work, work those things out. Not a problem at all. What kind of plaque do you have in mind? Is it um, a standing plaque? About um, maybe three, like four. three, four. You know, a pretty substantial right. size. You know, so people know like this is a big deal for this like right here. This. I think you all have the yeah. same image yeah. in yeah. your head. Yeah, you don't want. To, yeah, you can do it. I say go big or go home. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> yes, reasonable. <laughs> That'd be, yeah. okay. That'd be a great idea. Right. No problem. Thank you all for your time. I will go ahead and say why we're at it, unless something changes. And I, I will say I've got some family issues we're dealing with right now with my wife's family. But Thursday night, if everything works well, uh, as part of the sesquicentennial centennial celebration, we're going to do a presentation at the high school. On uh, you know how out in the foyer they've got the photographs of like teams that have gone to regional state tournament and stuff. We're having one prepared for the 1935 Bruce School Black High School Kentucky State Championship. Yeah. Those were state championships. They were. A lot of people do not even know we have a yeah. state championship team from Ohio County, and so we're having that set up. And if everything goes well, 
it'll be done Thursday night. It's going to happen anyway, but I'm hoping Thursday night to make the presentation at the high school ball game. So, yeah. how will that be publicized? So that well, I can't, can't publicize it till I'm waiting on Studio Two to make sure it gets here. It's gotcha. <laughs> supposed to be here tomorrow, gotcha. but I don't like to publicize something until I have it in my hands. But it'll be on social media. Oh yeah, it'll be on social media. We'll put something on there. Between Sherry, between Sherry and Cindy, I don't know. What I'm not I know. Just listen. She didn't. Maria, I'm glad you, you did the presentation because those other people I don't trust. She's them. Tired. <laughs> Sherry looked like you've worked hard it's today. It's past Sherry's bedtime. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe Sherry kept her mouth closed that long. She's like, she all the time. <laughs> that came from down there. Yeah, right? she knows. <laughs> I'm there, I'm there. Feel the love. I know. Feel yeah. the love. Sherry, Sherry and I, no, Sherry and I go back way, 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 way too far. <laughs> all right. I'm upset my mom. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. You protect me, Jay. You Thank you all. Me. Thank you. Somebody back? Is someone, anyone else? Any update from, I talked to Chad. Did y'all get an info from me? I have not. The state guy's still trying to work with the railroad. What did What did you find out? Uh, well, Chad, of course, was advised by his attorneys not to visit with us, do anything. With Thanks this. for coming. Thank you. Thank Don't you. Thank you. Meetings or anything which I understand. <coughs> and of course, the agricultural laws we checked into that uh, Mr. Conway had talked about was protected on every angle anyway. So. Um, you know, the idea about maybe trying to dig the ditch back there would be on the city to do. They're not going to. We can. It's on. It's 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 on private property. That's see. That's where we run into problems a lot. Yeah, like we we got with the homeowners. Maybe they would sign off on something, or is there not an easement between the private property and the farmland? Of any sort? No. 15 feet from the middle of the road no. or something. On the road, but not the out middle of the road. But not out in the middle of the field. Yeah. But not on the boundary. They're talking about on boundary line. Even. A lot of places. So, of course, we don't do that either. Um, so, we're still at we're zero. We're, yeah, unfortunately. And I was hoping that we could get that. I'm going to bring these pictures up, and I wish my copier had print ink. Well, I was down there this past week, and I did notice he had some uh, excavation equipment down there. I don't know it's if he's been there. Yeah, it's not. Uh, it's it not has there. been there a long time. Okay, I thought maybe he would do that. Tiny little trench so we're not. I mean, like, if you don't have crew out literally during active rain, oh, no. that will not do anything. Okay. I, mean, like I just saw it. I didn't know if he was planning on it or if he'd already done something. It's not a safety issue for a city employee. I see him down. There's. Like, and my insurance now is denied any payment at all or responsibility because of this, because of all this. But, but this is not blocking the water. It, it is. It is. The whole if, if this was blocking water, there wouldn't be water above the road over here. There's, I have no one plan. No. You've been denied that's blocking, that's not blocking water? It's not. Paul. The water is still going it's under. It's moving. Debris. It's not moving like it should. No, but it's still going under the on that debris. To, it, a, to a point. point. Yeah, I didn't know it was going to be very much. Like, I didn't know. Oh, the water's not moving. Like like you. You. The water's not moving quickly through that. But if what I'm saying is, if the water was not on this side of it, so you got all the water there. Absolutely. That's what I'm but it's coming down the street, so it's still that high. It's not. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, with that being said, what I think we need to have our just have them deal I mean, with our insurance, have them deal with our insurance, her insurance. You know, I mean, I don't think they're going to pay no, that's why we're going to have to end up getting together and hire an attorney to figure it out. I mean, I'm at a $20,000 loss, and you can't look at those and say that that has not blocked the water. It may not have blocked it totally, but it has made it move a heck of a lot slower than it would have normally. There's no doubt about that. See, that's her business right there. Is this building yours too? This one? The other one right yes. here? I know that one's yours. That one's yours yes. too? Which one? That one's, that's the main building yeah, over here. This is the garage like that. That's the shed that's back behind this is, this is when it started getting dug out. You know, when water goes down, you forgot an area that was deeper. Jeez, I'm so looking at far it goes back out in here. Absolutely. And I know that you can tell that there is current. It is moving Thanks. some. See you, Bo. And then well, you have all the debris. So if we can get the, some of the stuff cleaned up back there, it's going to help that. I'm going to get a refrigerator in the ditch. 
Where at? A refrigerator. A refrigerator. Last, the, the, the storm set, before. The, the storm, storm before. before. The, I got a picture that was a refrigerator. Oh, yeah. That, okay, but it's not there now, right? No. no. Okay. No. That's what I'm saying, though. But no, it's, during the rain, if you could sad, act safely, actively get an employee out there that. scooping it and see if it helps at least. We can't hey. not see if it helps. And I have no problem with trying that, but I, I'm just preparing you. Yeah. We've well, got to try something. I, we can't I, stay at ground zero. <laughs> All the ditches in front of my parents' house have not been cleaned out. They're so tiny. So I'm curious. The field. Is that the city? I know. Are they cleaning out the ditch here? Is that They'd already cleaned it. They, they were done. See the time? Well, and again, we can. We've got to watch with fall and go into the ditch that they empty into. Way after the rain. I can't. You don't want to make those ditches in front of the, your, that, your mom and dad's house deeper than where it's draining into. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes and no. Yeah. Oh, I mean, so it's not just, just the I can't. I understand that. For some things, I don't have here for some drops. And I, mean, I would love to see go in and, and yeah. I don't know, a, a windbreak's not the right terminology, but put a row of trees back up on the fence line because I think that's where part of it comes from. That used to catch. That's. Yeah, this is 231 right here. This is this is down there. This is, no, but if, if you had water coming across, sheeting across that field, when it, when it hit that line, that fence line of trees, those trees and shrubs and bushes were catching stuff and holding it by. They helped themselves out by getting it out of their fields. They got it out of their fields. Okay, here, this is a better picture of it. This is the same picture. This is a better picture. That's 231. See, there's downtown. That's 231, and it goes this way. And this is the ditch right there going across right here. You can see the main culvert, which... This is they where her business out. is. It's the yeah. Something yeah. happening. Yeah. This, this is by the hand the hand other hand. Yeah. 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 But this is 231. And there's, yeah. It used to be, correct. Yeah. You have to watch. Yeah. Yeah. The fire truck. Dude, Eric is a while. He's gone. And they bought it. And insurance was paid. If the adjuster could have proven that we got most of our water coming up through the drains. But of course they couldn't after well, they, like they did their research. Well, I don't yeah. know that it came through drinks, it comes through the it's no, just it so much. Yeah, there's it just yeah. you can't yeah. Yeah. And I thought yeah. 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 all ditches yeah. that all ditches in the area was thinking about that they could decide where most of it would be. I see I lived on Lafayette. I had I had water coming through the drinks. I got it. It was fine. No, if we dig the ditches deeper than a tile. When the water leaves, you got ponds. And then you got mosquitoes. So that's the problem. If you leave it deeper, it, you leave water and then it leaves mosquitoes. And then so you're catching the spray from that. Been the last two years. $20,000 $20, fix. The South Lafayette area has been cleaned. Well, the solution is to release it, is to get the water it is quicker so full. in this direction. And it's yes, too but many this is the thing. It goes here down here there, to this, there's a ditch right here. That is not, you can only handle so much water going in. That's the problem. I know. In, in each in a, in a circumference like this right here. So when you get eight inches of water in this area, again, you put eight inches of water over 300 acres where the water well, well, there's other things we can touch, though. So we've got to figure out something. Where you put down there. <laughs> and again, I, mean, I don't know where you put it. That's just a fact. It's eight inches of water. Yeah, it's got to know where the water's going. Well, it does this. That's why I asked last meeting if it wouldn't be feasible to do that. Because there's water going down there. Well, that's what I asked last meeting. 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 We're looking for everything we can find because we this want it fixed as well. Right. It goes down all the way down. Well, you're, um, it goes out to, well, to the bottom well, out there, then turns you know, it, and it goes all the way back over to 62. Right. And then turns and goes back to the dump. How in the world is that? Why does it not go from here to there? Here's the problem. Look at what it is. I can only dry it out so much. You know what I mean? I get a big fan. The dish down. I dry, I dry it out. We have to let it dry. We're not hiring a consultant. I got that one. I mean, I got that one. If you kind of look, everybody, if you did that, everybody would say, well, you have to do it that way. Wouldn't that be you can't, you can't release for the city to hire that out? I mean, because it's costing y'all. I mean, the eight years still looks horrible. The park still looks horrible. I mean, and we, uh, boy, that's all money to get out water. We're well aware. Yeah, that's, that's, that's why house. we want. Like, so at what point do we get a start? See how the water is in it? Here's our park. Do y'all have to carry your clothes insurance? It's getting water in that day. It's all that water's going right in our park. But if it doesn't go down, it's not going anywhere. Yeah. You know, you know, wow, they want to carry clothes insurance in that area. It's just the way it is. I mean, it is. It is. There's things that need to be done. So if if the consultant's hired, you want the city to spend the money on that? Is the property owner willing to kick in? 
If it, yes. To keep that from costing me $20,000 every time. That's negligence for the, for the city well, to give them the so, homeowners so, that way. So, what so, is this the shade of the bird? And the community. Yeah. I mean, the, if, if the consultant comes back and says there's nothing else going to be done, then where do you go? Because that's what they're going to say. Why do you say that? Why yeah. you say There's that? nowhere for the water to go. Have you had one come out? No, we haven't. Okay, then why would you make that assumption? I'm saying if the consultant says nothing else can be done, then where do you go? That's if. That's right. Why not go get somebody and find out first? We have to have a starting point, and we, we have done it. And Mr. Conway said at the last meeting, if we could prove negligence on the city's part, no, with the then oh, we would back lose back. this case. And that is our There's narrative. too many people that have been neglected that their homes is... If you would go look at... Just look at the black mold probably in some of these homes where the water has been and probably still is inches under their home. My parent, my dad won't even let me go under there because it's cold. He doesn't want the cold air. So there's no telling how much water is under their home right now. They're aware. We just yeah. got to find a starting point. Well, you're talking to two people that used to live on South Lafayette right here. We know this is nothing new, you guys. Yeah, but you all lived up at the other end where it didn't flood. No, nah, he lived at the other end. I lived about halfway. I lived at 5, 502 North Lafayette, or South Lafayette Street. That's where I lived, 502. I have had water come almost up to my house at 502. Have you ever had it up on I've your had steps? It, I've had it. Did it come in your house? I've had three and a half feet of water in my basement before. Have you ever heard the pipes and everything under your vent, your vents, you can hear it. The sure. water fixing it. I've had all kinds house. of water problems. But when I bought the house, again, when I bought the house, I knew it had a water problem. And again, I could not always get all the water out of there because when it gets up like it did in this situation, there's nowhere for the water to go. It's going to come in no matter what I do. This isn't just our residential and my business problem. This this affects, of course, it affects a lot more than that. So we quit talking. We know what it's doing to the houses. Yeah. What it's doing to the park, too. What's I mean, it's a good the park, park everywhere. On around. But we can't come to these meetings and not have a starting point. So what can we agree on that we're going to do? Hire the consultant, whoever it may be. Maybe we, the AB might know somebody through. What kind of consultant yeah. would you hire? That's what kind? Of, my question. Uh, uh, engineer? engineer? Yeah, it'd be an engineer. It'd be an engineer. It'd be, it'd be an engineer. civil engineer. All right, well, another. I live at 1304 Cherry Lane. I've looked at about 20, 30 times. I've had non stop issues with your sewer backing up into my house. So the first year I've had a put in a sewer relief valve after my house was flooded with sewer and then thought maybe that would uh, fix the issue. But every big rain, I'm not talking eight inches, I'm talking modern rain, I got sewer coming up to the relief valve, flooding both tubs in my toilets. Figured, literally, I'm tired of cleaning up the ship. It, I, I've called, I can't get any help. I have a, a drainage ditch behind 1304, my, my neighborhood Lake. in Hickory that will flood into my yard and be there for weeks at a time. I've called, well, it's not a city ditch, it's my own, but it feeds into the drainage system, but I can't get any help from someone to come look. I'm trying to get some help in my area as well. For my neighbors, many of them don't have the relief valve, so every time the rain, you're gonna see three or four plumbers. I spent almost five grand in plumbers, so I finally bought a snake myself to take care of the issue. But have you got a? Have you, did you have one of the one-way uh, systems put in where the water can only go out one way? It can't come back. Did you have a, one of those put in? They have a drain pipe that the, the, the water only can go out. Like when you flush your toilet, it can only go out. It cannot come back. Once it goes out, it shuts off, and water cannot come back in there. The gate valve. The gate valve, basically, is what it is. And it, it, and trust me, I had to put one into my house. I did. Yeah, and, but I don't know. It's, it's the sewer lines. They're not big enough to deal with the waste. I don't know why the tank gets held there for years. To come. Yeah. Yeah. Someone check it out. It's the whole street. It holds the waste. Uh, you can't hold the rainwater. I've lived here four years. I don't know why no one's ever raised a flag about it. Hasn't been going for was, we have had people we've, raise flags out there before, yeah. Flooding has worked on it. I've been out there before. Yeah. 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 A lot of it's. it's it, it can it handles the waste. What it can't handle, like Commissioner Patton just said, is the rain that's coming in on top yeah. of it. 
Dude, and we worked on the I when this I. rain starts going into the sewer system. There's, there's, it just is one of those things. There's nothing we can do about it. Uh, sewer that system. Has to be a way where I that, well, that's why. I realized that you clean from the road to my line. That's what the water company said. Well, it's on my property, but I didn't cause that. But I didn't cause the sewer to run into my line. To get some blood with water. But yeah. your, your valve, your relief valve should keep it from coming back. Yeah, it's not supposed to go in there. It's not supposed well, it's to. It's left next to the house, so it doesn't come in the house. But it, I mean, you want to come check it out? It's coming back. The pressure leak doesn't do a good enough job. It's still coming up in the toilets. It, it's it, still coming it up shouldn't be. I, I just know it shouldn't be. That's what those valves are put in there for, it, to prevent it. It's that bad of a well, I don't, I'm not denying it. It's not a bad problem. I'm just saying those check valves are supposed to prevent it from going back in the house no matter what. In other words, when it, when pressure builds up from the outside going in, that thing shuts and it is, there is no way that that stuff can go in. It's supposed I'm to have a valve, valve. is not, you not right. Pressure it doesn't matter. It'll handle a bunch of pressure. So Debris will hang on it. It's not the sewer, it's the rain which brings us back to our drainage problem that goes right around through here and right up through Georgia now. I mean, it, it comes the, back to our problem. The ditch that he's talking about that's not carrying the water there is also the same ditch that's carrying in your water. It, it's going to the same point. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm saying. This proves our point even more. It's nothing has to be done. But again, there's no place for the water to go. We have to figure something out. Then you're going to have to dig a moat, dig a moat out there that's huge I'm for a lake. Dig anything. Again, it'll have to be on private property because we don't own that property out there. I don't know. The legalities of that are not on us. The legalities are not on us. Well, I need here. you to look at it, at least to hear me what I'm saying as a taxpayer, to say, all right, you have an issue. I'll bend an ear, come take a look, and try to figure something out. Not just, well, we know it's an issue. And Deal with it. Where do you live? Do you know Melissa uh, Bartlett Drake? I don't believe so. You know, okay. I live in the third house. You said 1304 Cherry Third. Lane, right? Isn't that what you said? Um, who did your plumbing work? Um, you said you had a private person come in and rod the line. That was Jake Austin. Jake Austin. Yeah, he's out of one Because I looked up, and in 2020, I worked with Melissa a lot. She lives on Cherry Lane, but, oh, when you come down by where Dwight Ringham lives, you turn to the right. Chestnut. Chestnut. And turn to the right. Melissa lives over in there. Are you down? She's on the end. You He's on the end down Okay, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. I know that we've had, and there's there was folks that lived down in that area that we Ross. tried to help. There was a before. lady. I don't remember her name. It, was yeah, it's been Ross. a few years. That was it was Yeah, I couldn't remember. What is your name? Jordan Head. Jordan Head. Yep. Hey, <laughs> Danielle's husband. <laughs> I'm glad you came. I did not know that's where you guys lived. Um, I'll drive out there. I mean, I might not be able to tell much, but I'll listen and drive out there. Yeah, I didn't know you guys lived there. This is the, I want, I'm not going to say this is not the first that I've heard about the situation out there because I have with other folks been out there, looked and tried, did what we could do. And that's sometimes where we are. <laughs> But I'd be more than happy to drive out and look. Thank you. And again, what'd you say the guy's name once again? I got the last name, but what was the first name? Jake. Jake. Okay. Didn't some of them out there put just a relief valve period on there? To pop up. The only one I know that put a check valve in was the first house. Right there at the corner. 1301. Is that the Ross's or is that? That the was the lady. Okay. Correct. And has she complained about it anymore since she did that? I haven't heard that. See, that's what I'm, I'm, I really don't think if they put that relief or that check valve in there, that should not be coming back up in your system. That's what that thing's designed for, is to make sure nothing goes back in there. Mm -hmm. So. Well, we'll look at yeah. And that's why I say, I'll call him and see if he checked that and make sure if he's got it. I remember talking to you now. You're Brian Head's nephew. <coughs> Brian Head's nephew. I'm looking where you live right now. Anything else? Well, we still got some more people to go with. Uh, so the last thing we kind of talked, okay, maybe our next step is this, we can talk about this. Like, do we have another few steps to write down that maybe I'll we'll contact, this month? I will contact the civil engineer who does a lot of our engineering work okay. and ask for their input. Did the plan 
reporters not want to meet with us or anything? No, I reported that just a minute ago. They, they are trying to advise them not to. They're sorry it's an issue, but they're protected on all sides with the agriculture, of course. We knew that. Um, just, good people, just not, don't not their, not their fight. So you said you're going to reach out? I'll reach out to the engineer. To the engineer. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then will you report back next time or let well, us I know? Well, I probably won't wait that long to see what I can find out. But that's what I was wondering. <coughs> I, I see Nikki too much. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's next step. That's going to be the only one I know of right now, to be honest well, with you. Is with is with, the, is with the, the engineer to see what they say because, and I'm just going to be honest. I hope I'm wrong, but I have a feeling uh, the issue goes all the way to Rough River, and you're talking mm -hmm. years of permits and millions of dollars, and it's just. Start somewhere. I know, but it's just one of those things that that's going to require state aid and assistance, and. And can I get a, a if it's a doesn't put a worker in harm's way if another flood's coming like that that we're working actually during the rain to move the stuff to see if we get better flow instead of waiting until the rain's over we, we can have someone there but as the pictures indicated the material was on top water was still flowing there's just so much water downstream that the water it doesn't look like it's moving very fast i know we we, we come up with everything that the reason why it's not moving or why it is Still try something to be proactive to see what kind of result we get. Did I have somebody down there last at the last rain? After the rain. Okay. After the rain was over. The rain started at what time? Um, we closed our business, I want to say by 7 a.m. So we knew we were flooding by 7 a.m. and it was still raining. Okay. When dispatch calls me out, sorry, call, at call four. dispatch. Yes, Chris? It started, it started at four. I knew it started in the middle of the night-ish. Yeah, if, 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 night if dispatch calls us out, yes, we will send them. Who's back. dispatch? 911. So I need to make sure I'm calling 911 to have y'all city come out here. That's, that's how. So we know that it's going to flood in torrential rain. I slept through that rain. I did, <laughs> it didn't wake me up. So if I'm not notified it's raining, how do I know it's come out? Okay, so I'll call you. <laughs> I mean, at least that's a, a commitment on the city's part. We're trying to be proactive to see yeah. what happens. I mean, you might get out there and dig it and it not help at all, but then it leads to a no. Fair enough. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we won't have any of those rains anymore know. this year. I, I slept for it. That, but one more. Yeah. Yeah. You can guarantee it. I, I can't guarantee it's not going to happen because I that last one was a shock. That was huge. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, he was hitting on me. Yeah, I come in a little late. My name's Adam Patterson. I'm sorry. My name is Adam Patterson. Uh, I have a business called Seven Enterprises Incorporated. I just started back in the summer. And I do commercial finishes, interiors, in uh, industrial settings, hospitals, whatnot, buildings like this. Uh, I purchased a piece of property here on uh, 62 that I'm trying to get rezoned to build some uh, duplexes on. And uh, I went to the planning and zoning and uh, with no results, and I went to the uh, meeting this week of planning and zoning, and they entertained my offer, but I didn't know if there's something that the city could do to help me to get rezoned, to build a build. Exactly. Where's, you on Where, on where's your property located at exactly? 19 Little Roads, where Salon City is. On the left, as you're going up the hill. Okay. Yeah. Where's it at? It, it, where you're going up the hill after you pass, you know, you turn a corner and go up the great school. School. That corner back of Williams. The old daycare. Oh, okay. Where the daycare used to be in the salon this area now. So you're wanting, to, now you're, you're wanting to tear that down and build it? No, I, I want to convert the one building that's there, replace the building, convert it to two places, and then build another set of engine. You don't see the rezone. That's what he's trying to do. Yeah, he's trying to get the rezone. Yeah, that's what he's trying to do. It's uh, currently surrounded by residential. And, uh, I got a map. But right now, is it his own business? Is that what it's on right yeah. now? Yeah, it was his own commercial for the daycare. I'm sure someone's 
somebody to park hard and get its own commercial, and I want to take it back the other way. Yeah, that's unusual. That is. <laughs> what did they What did they tell you? I, I really didn't get an answer. Tell you the truth. Y'all aren't permitting. I got yes. the way. I, I own the property across the street. Yeah. So, yeah. It was originally part of a subdivision at one time. Um, that's the subdivision plot there. Who we at? Yeah, the footage and everything. Yeah, he said he talked to Planning Zoning already. Yeah, no, it's already. It's actually the zoning. It's biggest. How big is it? Two and a half acres. Two and a half acres. Did you go, when you talked to Planning and Zoning, what'd they say? Uh, the lady here at the office. Yeah. Act like it. Yeah, I know. It couldn't be done. Have you actually made the request? Where's these? Well, that says number 71. This is 231. Okay. This is 62. Okay. This is William Street. Just the he has one. probably. I, I don't know. This whole lot right there. That's the old beauty, beauty shop. Yeah. That's your beauty shop name. Yeah. Uh, well, the so behind so Lost Buck Common. Yes. That's the house. And reason. Well, there's a rental house. There's a rental property behind Lost Buck Common. That's a house. Yeah. And ultimately, they got to make a recommendation. They got to make a decision. Decision. Actually, it's kicked over here. So, 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 what would you do? Get it out of the planning zone. Here, yeah, and that's get the problem. They don't want to do anything better than here. I wonder if yeah, what I, that's I, there was no application form for it or nothing. I guess it was just you write it yourself. I, guess. I, I wasn't offering an application. Was. I wasn't offering an application. You're no, supposed I, to that. I pull it up. Application should change any kind of any kind of zoning. Yeah, yeah it goes first to the planning commission, then it comes here. Yeah, it's her recommendation. Yeah, one way or the other. That's what I. Okay, uh, yeah, I'll just, uh, but there, there I should mean, be. I never was offered an application. <laughs> did they tell you a reason why they didn't want <laughs> yeah, to block the reason? Because uh, but, I mean, it's they, not, they zoned it's that zone. whole corner no, commercial. No, 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 it's just they're saying them houses, rough, as long as they're there, they can stay. <laughs> okay. well, listen, going up, going up through Beaverton Grade School, that little left where the old daycare used to be, you remember it now? The beauty shop now. The beauty shop now. Right there at the corner of Williams. Behind Lost Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bill Mark, like, like, like an anchor, maybe an anchor. Yeah, it's right Cape right. Horn from mine. Does she by any chance give me a map? I have his old yeah. map. Uh, yeah. I mean, I can get one. I thought they'd know. <laughs> Did they say what this is on? Um, they, they say this is zone commercial and this is zone commercial. Be grandfather R1. It's not for future. Yeah. Yeah. I don't even think they'd let him file an application. He said he asked for one, they wouldn't get him one. You should. I didn't necessarily put it that way, but. I never was offered it, and I got resistance, more resistance than I got help. I can see that. <laughs> but I would go ask for a, 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 a form and just say I want to try and change it. What you want to do is petition for rezoning and get get the planning commission to to. Oh, I think I wrote them back up what I'm calling. No, we got a house here, a house here, yeah. and the empty lot here. With the, Oh, that joins it, that building, I think. Okay, that's what I need to check on. We need to find out to make sure what, I don't know what they've done in the past. But this should, I don't know why that would not be residential. That should be residential. Okay, I bet that's probably where they draw the line. That's where it should have been when they did. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Who I don't know. Just call City Hall. They'll get in touch with us. They'll New York. And you're going to have to find out. I've got a map. I can pull out. I want to just go on my computer. I've got the right kind of clamper in there. I'm trying to think. Actually, he was from Ohio County. I'm trying to think of his name. The bridge was lost. Can I give him that to you? He was just a contractor. Two seven. First moved in. Two five six. We got him out. Three eight seven six. A couple weeks. Three eight seven six. I think that map costs about five dollars. Yeah, I got that. Yeah, I think the map by itself thirty five dollars. And I've got one from the lodge. Right. Oh, that's how I know. I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. cooking phone. From, you know, yeah. Okay, I knew I saw that exactly. Him, but I just yeah. had to put two of them together. I don't feel any. Yeah, well, the yeah, I'll, I'll find out. See the snake. Yeah. I can find out who owns that. Thank you. Thank you. So when you come back to that wall, just yeah, I got on by. But when you yeah. close it, when well, he has closes now, I'm pretty sure. He has back pressure holding it in. Okay. It's not I know one of these is his. This could be dry as a bone. There could be water standing right here. It will not come back in. That's what I say. That's what I say. No, it is. I know mine. I'm not trying to see you know, you're putting my own legs. This gentleman used to serve on that board. I used to be the chair. No problem. Appreciate it. Like I said, call him. She'll be getting in touch with me. I know how she knows how to get in touch with me. So, 
<laughs> Not like you haven't called me before, is it? You go to KLC with us in October. Oh, you're gonna be pregnant. You can't. <laughs> you're not going. I don't see any issue. Because I, I don't want you embarrassing me like you did last time, buying everything, well, getting everything. Even if we were to see an issue with it, he still has the right to thank you. Process. Yes. Hey, uh, we're at KLC at Bowling Green. We got we got bug stuff. <laughs> Turn you down. I mean, that's the worst. The worst thing. You still have the right to appeal, but it's not. And and the only reason. Because I kept it for myself. I'm not like you. I don't go through it twice. Why would that raise Cain? That, that, I, I just don't say what the issue is. I enjoy it. I enjoy it. You were. Where it all started. Started with getting a permit from Nancy. Yeah. So the commission did not give you a yes or no. No, they didn't give me a. That's something that they would, I guess, look at. And wait a month, but I, re I really don't want to wait a month. Well, I could understand that. Well, well it's time is money. Yeah. yeah. Right. Wait till next month. But you're talking about how big a duplex are you looking at, or what? Well, this here is 1,800 square foot. It'd be 900 square foot. You, you figure. What other deal? Some type of citation might get you. How many I could get on the lot and still stay with you? Right. I thought I'd be this is you're today. paying for this yeah. existing building. Then just repeat. Well, I, I could understand if there was an issue with that he didn't have enough square foot in his got lot, but with a two and a half acre lot, I don't see where that could be. Unless, unless it's the way that it's going to be. Or give me the, the same variance that the other people around me have. The that yeah. as long as it's standing, I can keep it. Come on, it's not that. Okay. And then if somebody, somebody call or let it go, uh, actually, it can be turned back commercial. Yeah, somebody, somebody, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's harder to do, but yeah. if they approve it to go back to residential, it wouldn't be hard if somebody came back and wanted to go back to commercial with it just because it's got commercial across from it. I went all the way over. So this is the all the way over. Uh, this is quantum. Oh, this is the quantum. quantum. There's actually a single door. Here's 231. Here's okay. 60 doors. Yeah. And I went all the way over almost to the, like well, where the they're signing is right here in the four store. Mm -hmm. yeah. I went all the way over that. And then I went all the way back There's to the ditch. The ditch does this right here. And then I went all the way over to the quantum, which is right there in the quantum. The stand is back here, sir. Yeah, I go right to the stand. Yeah, let me. Power we'll find out on who property, property owners are and what the big things will be what this is so it's still I don't it's know it's all one right now because or, uh, it still continues to be an all one I would think so too this one think that'd be yeah there's people I think it'd be I know like well I know but it could have been this is one thing that happened two years at the same time they could have zoned that whole thing commercial yeah. and if there's a residence on there it can continue yeah. to stay a residence yeah. 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 so it could be zone commercial yeah, it, is. Right. it is oh it is okay. but, but as long as it's nice. residence yeah they can remain a residence if they ever move out and were to tear down or put a business in it can never go back I don't to want that. we cleared the room out this I mean hey, right oh my God. Said, do you think that it's sold recently? Sure. just a minute ago right. Yeah. I told you if we go into close this one. Well, they may have, I think. I'm going on doing that. They're going to close that one. Yeah, she was doing her job. She was putting the job. Let me look into it so we can find out and get you an application anyway to start that process. There's no reason not to do that. So does he need to come to City Hall to get an application? I've got his number. I'll call. I'll do some checking to see what I can get. Do you need any of this? No, I don't think I'm good. But the way it's dated is locked. How many lots do you have? It shows... I'm here on the, the uh, seven. I was just curious because I saw how narrow they were on the. Yeah, they're not but 25. You said it to me before. Oh, okay. But it's eight kind of oh, really? There's not that many lots there. At the Bell South. Hmm. But you, I wouldn't print it like that. You know what I mean? Right. It's too small. Right. right. No, no, I understand that. That's That was back in the day when all the lot. We have Main Street. Yeah. A lot of them are 50. 50 foot. Yeah. <laughs> so I think I got. Because that's an issue we've had to deal with because. With plenty yeah, of them, so we're going to size. 
I got 277 rope. A lot of it's going to depend on how far that was setting out in the middle. You know, if it had been setting, you probably got a lot if it was setting, if it was sighted. I know I could get two, though. Okay, for sure. In addition to the one that's already there? No, or one more. Two, so that's what I was thinking. Just visualizing it. I'm more, I'm more of a visual person. Yeah, I don't want to work right Numbers don't you. do much for me. I'm visual. Right. I appreciate it. Let's see we find it. Thanks for the same word. Does anybody else have anything? No. All right. Mark All right. Oh, you, you said no a while ago. You sent us a report, didn't you? A major well, we're report. Do the, we're going to do the stats next month. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Under rest. <laughs> Is it Chris? Yeah. But anyway, the stats be next month, and also our policy procedure. There's several policies that we're having to update, so we'll do that next month. Okay. Uh, hopefully, there won't be as much going on. Uh, the only thing I've got to, tonight is I'd like to ask the commission uh, for permission. We've been interviewing. We've interviewed six people. We cut them down to three. Uh, we had them come back and talk with them again. Uh, went through a mock POPS test, which is a physical part, uh, and we cut it down to two. Uh, we'd like permission to send these two to phase one and phase two of the POPS, uh, which is uh, Jacob Blanchard. He's from over at Hartford. I think his uh, wife was a teacher at the high school now. Oh, is that the one? Is that the one I know? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know. And he's 32 years old. And then Noah Miller. Uh, he's 25. He lives at Hartford also. So we'd like to Larry, we, we can't hold that against them. Larry, Arno Miller? The yeah. One? Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. He's a good kid. What? Arno Miller. Miller. <laughs> no, no. Yeah. 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 Uh, but anyway, we'd just like permission to uh, now to go ahead and get in the process of phase one and phase two of the POPs. Uh, that's something we have to do before they need to be sent to the academy. Uh, phase one uh, is uh, psychological and uh, drug treatment. Phase, phase one is physical agility. Okay, well, one way or the other. Anyway, the POPs test is one, and then uh, psychological evaluation and drug screen is phase one. So they'll be, they'll be going two different places, but we'll send them together and uh, provide they both pass through the POPs and get through there, then we'll offer them employment. Will that get us to seven again? Yeah. I move with Cindy two men to pop test. Second. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? <coughs> Those in favor seeing the pipe time? Aye. Uh, Post sign. Motion passes. Thank you. All right. No closed session. I don't need one. Larry, do we need a closed session? Oh. Make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> Everybody wants to adjourn. Let's get out of here. Larry, Larry. We got to recall that. AV, got an update on the property. Oh. Do what now? Do we have an update on the Bruce Road property? Uh, I got to stand up a minute. I think we'll have two uh, filed by the next meeting. Okay. Um, we, we, we're not going to do them all at the same time. We always talk about that. And, and Lars being lawyers, we're going to try to do the two easiest ones first before we jump over on the Reese. In carport. <laughs> property where we got a lot of errors. Uh, the only thing concerns me, I don't, I don't want to do a lot of work yeah, on they, it. They don't want to do what now? Back. They're, I'm, they're going to start doing a lot of work on it, on the house, and I hate for them to do a lot of work. Who they is? They have been doing a lot of work. On the Miss Moss house. Who is? I don't know who's doing it, but somebody. Are they doing it now? Yeah. Well, you we, get can, wind we can go ahead and file it if you think it will. I think it would need to. You said you need to have a hearing with one of them, so you, I guess you plan to do it pretty quick. Yeah. Okay. What kind of shape's it in? Uh, the majority of it now, the porch is falling in. They've rebuilt the porch on top of it. And you got photographs and stuff? Do what? There, right, we got photographs of what they're doing. Can you get photographs of it? And I know she's been hiring work out. It's not been family doing the work. She's been hiring it out. So 
Seth, they're lucky to be here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure. Is she here tonight? Mm -mm. Thanks. I didn't know one of those. That doesn't make it worse, does it? It's Betty and Helena. Thank you. If it's everyone hard enough, they fight. Sorry. Yeah, I am. Antoine. No way. Are we adjourning here? We're adjourned. Yeah, we're adjourned. I got homework.